If you saw what was out, that was Henny. <laughs> uh, anyway, Aaron just refuses to talk to me. I tried to call him to tell him. I said, I am an authority on the e-caller. If you don't believe me. Anyway, let me tag Aaron. I added him as a friend. I don't, I don't know how to add somebody. I think they have to come on there. I think you have to come on here, Aaron. I think you, I always try to add people. I always try to add them on camera. They never come on. I think you, I have to see you somehow. <coughs> oh my God, I gotta walk dogs too, so we gotta hurry, Aaron. I don't mind talking dogs all day long. I really don't. She said, who am I calling? Uh, oops, uh-oh. Okay, where's Aaron? I don't know why he doesn't come on there. Okay, sorry. I, hang on, let me let these other dogs out real quick. All right, Aaron, sorry. I, this is my life. I live in the Okay, hang on. Sent an invite. Okay, I don't... Usually it says you can add the person. All right, hang on, hang on. Let me see. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Maybe I can invite you. I, 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 they'll tell you. I tried to get Godfrey to come online. And he could never figure it out. I sent you a friend request, Aaron, so. But if you said, what, how, how, how do you claim that you're an expert? I was with Dogtra from its inception in 1997 for 18 years as a developer on the Dogtra Pro staff. If you said, I can confirm that, Yes, you can confirm that. You can call Dogtra. If you said, what happened? Did she call you all the time and scream at you? Nonstop, Aaron. The things that they did. They took the constant. They took the constant from eight seconds and it made it 12 seconds. They had meetings every day. I called them every day. They assigned a guy. There's a guy you can talk to, Ben. His job was to deal with Kelly. <laughs> Aaron, I want you to come on, and I want you to understand the only reason I did that, because I knew you could put a stop to these people, and you wouldn't want these people bullying me, but if you said, who else can confirm I'm an expert? Aaron, I want you to call Michael and say, how the fuck did this idiot end up with your chameleon? How in the fuck did this self-proclaimed expert end up with your collar? How? How did this idiot get your collar? I just, I'm not going to answer you, Michael. I mean, Aaron, but I want you to message Michael and say, how did this idiot up, end up with your chameleon? She is with dog show. Why, why would she have your collar now? If you said, who else can confirm you're an expert? 
I want you to message Godfrey Dildai, and I want you to ask him, is it possible to do motivational training with an e-caller based on what she's doing? Uh, and I seriously want you to do it, Aaron. I don't, no, he's not gonna do it, okay. I don't know how, how, and re okay, I invited myself and rejected it. Okay, but I can't, I don't know how to do it, Aaron. If you said you're that much of an idiot, I am, add me as a friend. If you add me as a friend, I can do it. Because I see right here, I can invite these people. I invite people all the time. If you said, what happens? They don't come on. Just add me as a friend. You can block me right after this if you don't like it. But I was, I was on the dog show press stuff for 18 years. And I had an original pager ebook that now seems like, you know, I'm like the biggest goofus maloofus, but. In 97, they came out with the pager, and that's what happened. The fact that none of these people figure that out. They're all doing it wrong, Aaron. I, okay. Recently invited. I invited. Why don't you? You're not on my list. If you want to go live, I'll come on your page. I promise you, Aaron. I don't blame you for getting mad. My parents couldn't figure out how to do Messenger, and I started getting mad at them. If you said, then what? Then I realized, that's wrong. Don't get mad at him. If you said, then what? I tried to get Godfrey on here to do a tracking video, and he couldn't do it either. I started to get mad at him. Okay, okay, guest request. Okay, okay, guest request. Okay, it's right here. I can see. Hang on, hang on. Guest request, allow your viewers to request to join the broadcast. It just says you don't have any viewers. Okay, share broadcast. Okay, so you should be able to come on. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. I hit the blue thing. Okay, okay, here we go. I don't have any motivation. If you said, what motivation would I have to make up? Can you hear me? That he's doing it wrong. And I can't hear you, Aaron. Can you hear me? Aaron, I, I put that. Yes, I can hear you. But let me just tell you first, I put your name, and I'm going to take all of this stuff down, but I put your name in the video because I knew you wouldn't let these people come on there and bully me because I always believed you met me through Michael Ballone, Aaron. You might not remember that, but that's how you met me. And I always believed here is somebody sincere about dogs and – I came to believe that wasn't true. And with this Tommy Loveless, he's doing it wrong, Aaron. He's doing it wrong. It might be my, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It might not be on Wi-Fi. Okay, all right, let's come back on. I don't blame you for getting mad, Aaron. I, I was getting mad at my parents. I was getting mad at Godfrey. I, just, oh, I said, all right, hang on. Hang on, I can do it again. Oh, Peter wants to come on too. All right, hang on. Anyway, Peter, this is the guy. Aaron, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so right, really quick, I have a, my you youngest son. Quick. My youngest son is in a van with me right now, so please no cursing over here. Okay. G rated, G rated, gotcha, gotcha. So see over here, right? Okay. See his little hand. Listen so I'd appreciate no cursing. Um, and I got I'll a van full of dogs. So if the dogs Listen start barking, I apologize. So I really quick, you, Kelly, I'm totally the confused. Only, the only it, it's safe to say that it's okay, it's safe me, to say that we don't know each other. Let me clear it up, Aaron. Sure, go ahead. You know, you met me through Michael Ballone. You met me through Michael Ballone. That's how we originally met. You went to Bart Ballone school, right? Trying to hear you better. It's really uh, kind of odd. Hold on a second. Hold on, please. Can you hear me okay or no? I hear you. 
TT, what's up, buddy? Daniel McLaughlin, Ryan Morris, Katie Matthews, Cody Rose, Christine, Douglas Guevara. What's up, guys? I can't get this fucking – I'm sorry. I, I don't repeat that, buddy. Don't say your mom's name. I don't have time for you to talk to them, Aaron. I'm going to explain to you how you met me, and you met me through Michael Ballard. No, but I've never met you that's before a day in my life. I've never met you a well, day in my you, life. That's how we met online. That's how we met online. Okay. And through her. Sure, but we've never trained school. together. We've never trained together. Right, we've never trained together. You've never been to, to my facility. We, we, we've never worked dogs no, or worked leashes or trouble solved or problem solved or anything together, right? But I've, but I've seen your videos. Okay, cool. And Yes, ma'am. I am, I'm going to explain how I am an expert with e-collars, Aaron. I spent 18 years on the Dr. Pro staff from 1997 when the, co when the company opened until 2006. If what you're doing, Aaron, is getting a bunch of your cyber bullets on here to attack my work, that's not going to work. I can't, I can't hear you. I can't. I, I can't hear you, Aaron. It's breaking up. I can't hear you. Aaron, I can't hear you. It's breaking up. And I never said you asked for guidance. I said the guy's doing it wrong. We can't hear you, Aaron. No, we, nobody can hear you. I can't hear you, Aaron. I, nobody can hear you, Aaron. Is anybody nobody else there? can hear you. Anybody else hear me? I am. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up, guys. You're, you just have a bad signal. You just have a bad signal. Okay, if hold you, on. I'll move to I a... would suggest your people go on to my work and take a look. No, yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll move to a better area. I'll, I'll, I'll get the loop. Yes, ma'am. Audience right now much bigger than normal, so let's uh, let's let's keep this going. So we can discuss and learn, because I do want to learn from you. I do think that, that you have some good knowledge. So back to you were talking about uh, Michael Malone. Listen, that's how we originally got to be Facebook friends. I'm just going to tell you that, because you were friends with Michael. And so my advice to you, since you don't believe I know what I'm doing, is contact these three individuals. Contact Michael Malone. Ask them how I got their caller. Number two, call Dobbs, the people that invented the low-level stimulus, and ask them if I am an expert. Three, message Godfrey Dildai and ask him if I know what I'm doing. And if those three people say, I don't know what I'm doing, then sit your cyber bullies on me. Because they're not going to say that. I genuinely... So, so for example, I would... I'm not you. I'm not you, Aaron. They're big on social media. They're lifelong police trainers, lifelong hunters, lifelong dog trainers, and or the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, literally, of five-star reviews that I have for training close to a 1,000 dogs. So, Aaron, listen So to when me. you start to me. degrading everything that we are doing, it just blows my mind because we don't know each other. You You're going to stand behind that e-collar work that I just uploaded, the, the one that's called the Shake Off. You're going to stand behind that, the French Bulldog. I'm not even sure what dog you're talking about. I just uploaded it. It's called the Shake Off. The Shake Off. And okay, well, cool. Really quick. Hold on one second. So we have to look at like at the totality, right? So first off, is the dog being counter-conditioned, conditioned, How long have you been is, in exposed? Answer me this, Aaron. How long have you been in business? I've been in business since 91. Okay, I can appreciate 91. that. Yeah. I can, 90 okay. you are five years old. Prior to opening. I've got more e-collar footage and more advanced work than anybody. Peter, this is the guy that was jerking the Malmute. This is the guy in the flip-flops that was jerking the Malmute.
So you were 12 years old when I opened this business, Aaron. I'm 60 years old. I am 20 years, I am 20, 20 years older than you, Aaron. I'm 20 years older they than you. They let act you like no it. Respect. I'm going to take all this, this old girl. No, Aaron, yeah, you don't that's control the me. No, I, you don't control me. Aaron, I said you were 12 when I started this business. I just asked you. What? How long? Just answer me how long you've been in business, Aaron. You truly, it, it's just, you just keep talking over me and you won't let me answer a question. So what is your question? And then be quiet so I can please answer you in full. Go ahead. What? year did you start training dogs professionally we got an llc for ridgeside in 2016 i've been training dogs professionally since 1998 so please continue and what where's where is your no joel i'm an e-collar expert and if you said show me your work i've got you believe of with the work it. do, do you, you believe with the work that you've seen me do Hold on, hold on. This is, this is, there's, logic is, is escaping this conversation quickly. I you continue? Seen, I've seen very little e-collar work. I do very little e-collar work? No, I've seen very little of it. From me? But I'll take a look. Aaron, I'm not a stalker. I'm... Hey, Peter. Whose whole life is Peter. Developing these uh, one dogs. second. Peter, I don't know who you are, but you're a man, so you're, feel free to hit me up, and I'm very easy to find, okay? So, and you can also jump through Holland. I'm very easy to verify on Holland too. So I appreciate that, Peter, but, 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 but proceed that with coffee. Now, ma'am, to say that I don't Listen, show the process, yeah. I show more behind the scenes videos than any dog trainer on Facebook right now. How can you possibly say that's not true? Now. Because I have 26,000 videos on Facebook. I appreciate I video I'm live seven days a week. Seven days a week live. Nobody's got more. Hmm? Why does that bother you that we're successful? It doesn't bother me that you're successful. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have anything. I live out in the country. I'm supposedly this crazed eccentric, but no, ma'am, I live in the country. I, I live in the mountains. I live up on top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere. It takes eight miles of dirt road to get to my house. To me, <laughs> really quick, explain to me your e-collar methodology. I'm willing to listen. Explain the methodology that you're using. We call it the rich side way. Well, but explain it. Great. It's a little bit of nipopo mixed with what Aaron Taylor, who is myself, has learned from working dogs for 20 years in a police capacity, pets, a degree in psychology. But I'm talking about business. technical, Aaron. I'm talking about technical. What, where are you, what behaviors are you teaching? Uh, if you said, tell me, I'm teaching a three action introduction with a pager. I'm using the pager to trigger impulses. That's why these dogs are jumping off the page. And I don't want you to start bullying me, Aaron. You need to really take a look at what I'm doing. If you said, I don't have any use for an impulse trigger like a Wii on a, a video game. It's the future, Aaron. Haptics in dog training, it's the next big thing. I use constant prior to 97. It tells the dog on a subconscious level, your body's under attack. Hold on one second. You the clearly, hold on, stop, stop, stop. We, we have to be realistic on this conversation. We have to stick with facts. You've obviously never watched one of my videos. If you don't think that I don't use vibration and tone as conditioned responses to behavior and to elicit behavior and to also teach conditioned so responses under stress, so so you're not only I wrong, know. but it, it, so. is, it is gravely disrespectful that you would, again, make things up like you always do about people, live in la-la land, and then just throw in facts. You've never watched a video how of mine. How do you know, Aaron? You said, you said you don't know me, so how could I always make things up? Well, I watched, and I was tagged in a video say, that you that you said about a Malamute of mine that I trained, that I posted the whole process. And the, the most hilarious part, the disturbing part to it. me, 
Oh, you saw it posted in comment. You did an hour rant on just me in the video. It's okay. I appreciate it. Where was the end video, Aaron? Where was the end result? And I'll take that video down. The end Where was that malmute at the end? Page with their bump. Show me the malmute. Left about the amazing turnaround. That's a real result. Now, not an edited video showing the end. The work. No, hold on. Hold on. I don't, nobody cares what you want to see. I'm telling you what works as a business, and this would be a good business lesson for you, is that end result videos mean absolutely Aaron, nothing. They're I'm edited retired. videos. Hold on. I'm not in business, Aaron. I'm retired. That's what you don't get. I'm not in but business. But you post I'm on retired. your dog page every day. You have a kennel page, and you post on it like 10 times a day, don't you? But that's... Gotcha. I'm a developer, gotcha. Aaron. I'm developing <laughs> training. Come on now. Right. So really quick, let's go back to what I was just saying a second ago, right? For, 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 for you to judge that video and do an hour rant, and you, and you literally targeted the first five seconds, and all you kept saying the video, and let me finish. Oh, everybody liked it? Yeah, there was like 80,000 views and like 900 thumbs up, but nobody liked it. So really quick, if you just let me talk. You kept staying in the video. You can't even show Hold me on. The end. Hold on, ma'am. Please, ma'am. A testimonial from Hold the on, ma'am. Go get the owner to do a video of the dog. Uh, it's Aaron. pretty easy to see on our page, but just really, really one second, please. Call the owner and say, do a video. Uh, hold on. This isn't a trigger dog. safe zone. You spoke. Now, let me, let me answer your question. When you watched the video, you did a whole done. thing about. I was choking the dog, and the dog was screaming, and you've never heard that before. But let's look at the facts. I'll get it. You stated to your people, just put the dog in a leash and use the pager. So my question to you right now in front of the world, my question to you is, how do you put a leash on a dog when the dog will bite you for putting the leash on him? What do you do? How do you slip it? How do you control it? If the dog is truly coming up the leash and trying to attack you, how do you put the leash on the dog? See, you're teaching people at a step four, but you bypass step one, two, three, and that's unacceptable. So either one, you don't take dogs Aaron, that are dangerous. I've got videos showing the dog being dropped off by the owner and the collar being put on it. I just uploaded a video the other day of a no, no. dog. No, 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 no. I want to see the video. No, no, we that. can't. Again, we can't make up perfect case scenarios. I want to see the video of the dog that is trying to eat you and how you do I got that. an exact video showing how you do it, Aaron. I said, you get the leash. Hang on, I'll show you. Oh, I've got a video. Got a video. Okay, so you're going to tell me that 130 pounds Malamute, on. and you weigh about 90 pounds soaking wet, and, and, and you're just going to put the leash on, and through telekinesis, the dog is going to just love you because you're indifferent to the dog. Is that what you're telling your audience? Because you're going to get your audience chewed up, is what's going to happen. The fact that you can't show the end result and that you said, and honestly, Aaron, the way this started out, if you're going to stand behind Tommy Loveless as being a good trainer. Tommy Loveless is a war hero, and I'd be it. very, very cautious right now. These people have done more for their country than you could ever possibly imagine, and that's all I employ. So don't disrespect You don't people. know what I've done. No, 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 no. You be very careful right now. You don't know Don't this. disrespect. I do know Tommy. Okay, Aaron, that doesn't make him a good dog trainer. Okay, please tell the world what makes him a good – what makes him a better dog trainer. So if Tommy's done hundreds of boarding trains, hundreds – hundreds right for two weeks for two that's weeks, not our right? program and i don't think he's done hundreds you're referring to tommy's prior i don't think he's done hundreds. you're 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 mistaken you are referring to tommy's prior employment which he no longer works at Riftside canine does two to eight week programs it all depends on the dog we don't we don't put okay, a number so on a dog we say to all of our clients it depends literally. on the behavioral issues that have to be modified Okay. Well, I'll look at your end results, Aaron, and I'll look at your e-collar videos. There's and... hundreds of them. They're not. They're not hard to find. Then send me the most. No, 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 no. Ones so that I don't go on the site. Give us a view count. Give us a nice thumbs up. Go on there and watch. But it, it, the whole thing that makes no sense to me, ma'am, is how disrespectful, argumentative, combative you are to people you don't know. It's very disrespectful, and it's very. You're saying this. You say you don't know me. I know dogs, Aaron, and I know e-collars. I appreciate and that. And I'm disrespectful to people who use them wrong. Yeah, I appreciate I that. But, but, but let's look at the fact, though. So, so look, right, I don't even work for Off-Leash K9, but I will absolutely stick up for Off-Leash K9 in the sense that they're a pretty successful business. They train for two weeks. Who? They train for two weeks. Ma'am, that's just not the case. So, listen, 
even with off-leash canine, yes, they have a basic two-week package. But I can assure you, if your dog needs more, they're going to train the dogs for more. That only makes common sense. You you can't just put down every single company that's not yours. Companies that have done tens of thousands of dogs successfully. I wouldn't even do that. And I'm a direct and competitor think, for off-leash canine. But I won't even say that about that. That's not true. Don't people think and count. It's not hundreds and hundreds of dogs. They can't even do anything advanced. That's so, not true. Or, um, no, you can't yeah. say that. Off-leash canine has great results for the dogs they do. Do they take on cases like we do that are dangerous and are killing people? Absolutely not. We they do that. They can't even do a trained retrieve. We do. They can't even do a trained retrieve. But a trained None retrieve is not what clients want, though. But that's not what clients want. Very few clients care about a trained retrieve when the dog's jumping on the counter, jumping on them, pulling on the leash, won't come back. And it's dog training 101. It's dog training 101. No, no, it's client 101. See, and this is the problem with old school dog trainers. You assume that you can tell the client what they want, but you don't listen to what the client wants. So to, to yeah. immediately talk down on an off-leash canine trainer who is doing most likely what the client asked for is just wrong. What's all the shaking? What's all the it could shaking? be the collar flicking against the ear because it's too long. It could be the sensation. It could be vibration. It could be tone. It could be the leash pressure. He doesn't it use the pager. Thing. He doesn't use the pager. There's two ways to install an e-collar, through motion or through stationary. And they're doing it through stationary, and that doesn't work because there's no recall. Listen. And if you said you don't have a recall. I got whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa. I there. said I don't have a recall? You said you don't have a trained <laughs> retrieve. Where are you making these things up from? How? What do you mean I don't have a recall? I said he doesn't. I don't know about you. Tommy, you send me, I can assure you, you Tommy Loveless has a recall, one based on tone and two based on once the command is given and tone comes in, of course there's a there's a bump on stem if a dog doesn't respond to the preparatory command. command preparatory command of execution. It has to be there. The laws of learning don't change. Principles of conditioning don't change. Period. Okay? I can have a toned recall from a thousand yards away. I can have a vibration halt from a thousand yards away. You said, what's Please wrong don't. With the tone? Why doesn't a tone work? So the tone doesn't work because the reason the pager works, and Jim and Phyllis Dobbs are the ones that developed it back in '97. E-collars were around way before 1997. Let's get that straight right now. But the pager came out. The pager came out. You're talking about a vibration there. feature. Stop saying pagers if it's some different creation. It's a vibration feature on an e-collar. It's not complex. That's what it was originally called, though, the pager. Okay, it's a vibration feature. That's what it's Let's stop acting as if it's a different. It says right on the collar. It says right on there. Pager. That's what Dogtra right calls there. the vibration right feature, there. but just call it vibration. It says right there, though, Aaron. It says right there, pager. <laughs> yeah, what does the pager do? It triggers the. No, 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 no. No, no. What does the pager do on the collar? It's the synergy of feel and sound. It's a vibration. What are you talking about? That's a 1900 S you're holding in your hand, correct? Mm, it's 280 C. And okay. it's the synergy of feel and <laughs> it, sound. It's, it's identical to the 1900 S. Right, the pager is a no, vibration sensation, correct? All right, but Aaron, it says pager right on here. It says pager right on there. So please don't say it's not a pager because it says pager right on there. That's not a 1900 and... S collar? It's a 280C. That's all I use. Okay. Um, if you have nothing to learn from this work, Aaron, really quickly, I would appreciate video after video after video. These dogs have an itchy neck. The shake off, you understand what the shake off is, right? In dogs? Ma'am, I could literally take a beetle, a beetle, drop it on a dog laying on the ground, and he will shake, scratch, and, and, and push it off. Right? Okay. Exactly. So let's back up for a second. With a it's, with a tritonic it's a physiological collar. reaction to touch. Oh, oh right, it's right, a right, right. Reaction to touch. Hey, Ravi, doctor, sir, I don't know. I'm 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 a little bored right now. I'm waiting on a couple of drop offs. Got a van full of dogs, but um. This is respectful, we're learning. Aaron. This is um, being respectful. Ma'am, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I really am. But but you've also for years trolled me, and that's the truth, right? That's the truth. You've only been in business for three years, Aaron. Two years ago, I said something about the Husky. Years I've trolled you. Yes, ma'am. You've only been in business for three years. How could I have trolled you for years? Well, years would, you years would imply plural, which means more than one, right? I told you one time, stop rubbing the head. You wouldn't stop rubbing the head. Why so is tactile reinforcement you. on a dog a bad thing? 
because it physiologically tells the dog on a subconscious level that you're not my friend. Subconscious would mean got, stop. Subconscious would mean reason or logic. Two things a dog's so brain does not stop, possess. Aaron. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to stick with the with, with, with principles on this one. Subconscious means the dog would have reason what or logic. What you're doing is trying to put on a show for your fans, Aaron, and you're not going to. Hold on. Subconsciously yes, to the affect and the vibrator the same thing. I'm gonna get the article. So, Lucy, please go get the article about the major breakthrough with the pager. Hey and post um, it right with, here. With so all due respect, it. I have multiple dog trick collars. I'm a Garmin Tritronics guy, but I have multiple dog trick collars. I can say the word uh Tula Husky. And if that word means when that, when I say Tula Husky, it creates a vibration. It doesn't matter what I say, the reaction is the same thing. It, it, it really Mind is. Mind you a silent recall, Aaron. Mind you a silent e recall. <laughs> Mind you a silent recall. I just hit the pager and they... But if you hit I, pager or I hit tone, what's the difference? Listen, hey, wait, 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 wait. Would you willing to do a contest to submit some videos and have Godfrey Dildai judge it? I don't even you know who me? Godfrey Dildai is. That's the truth. And I have a degree in psychology. You wrote a book and you better watch yourself, Aaron. You better watch yourself because he's a living legend. That's awesome. He's a living legend. Awesome. And he wrote a book called Training and Drive. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm want... great for him and I should probably read it. I'm being honest with you when I say I don't know who he is. So you're willing to let him judge a recall contest between me and you and let that settle it. Absolutely. But not on video. I own multiple locations around the United States and I could probably come close to you. Bring some dogs. I'll bring some dogs. Buddy, it'd be a good time. But let's submit a video right today just to get on the a right video. track. So that it's not a bunch of stalling. A video. Until you can get it. <laughs> submit your a, fastest a recall. Ma'am, I have hundreds of videos on Facebook. Go pull anyone you want to. And submit your fastest recall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be respectful, but this is becoming more and more difficult by the second. Ma'am, I have. I've, I've uploaded 15 recall videos yesterday. Well, that's probably why no one watches them. Um, you submit a little too much. The videos I see of you are dogs just running around the backyard. Aaron, I have yet to see one training video from saying you. You're being, you're trying to be respectful. I am. I can upload whatever I want. This is my life. Nobody said you couldn't. And so, but you throw in, oh, that's why nobody watches them. You're trying to be respectful. You were just being disrespectful to me, clapping your hands, raising your voice, and telling me how to upload a video to show your recall. I have hundreds. And I show training. Then go find the best one, and let's send it to Godfrey. You don't even know who he is. He's the most famous motivational trainer in the country. That's great. I'm just telling you, I don't know who he is. Who cares? And you're saying you, and, and you're saying, and that's disrespectful. Why is it disrespectful? I'm being honest with you. I don't know who he is. I'm sorry about that. Maybe I've read his work. I don't know who he is. Don't know. It's called Training and Drive. He came to this country from Germany and took a woman back to Germany and won the Deutschmeisterschaft. Great. Jackie Reinhardt. Great. Congratulations. So, he's a legend. I've also and bit multiple people with a real police patrol canine on the, on the street. Have, does he know who I am? What about Kurt Demond? I'll ask him. Okay. Where's Kurt? <laughs> Kurt. Kurt. <laughs> no, I just asked you a question. Does he know who I am? Aaron, it's, but why is this about you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking you, you do your people know who I am? So would it be disrespectful He's if they did? He's a famous trainer. No, no. He's a famous trainer. No, no. When you do your live videos, you, you always tell your you people are. because you told your people also to go on my page and leave negative reviews. I saw the video this morning. No, I didn't. Lie. Not. Oh, bullshit. Lie. I never in my life told anybody to leave a negative lie. review and go cut and paste. Flat that. lie. That's a lie. Flat lie. That's a lie. I'm not like Flat that, lie. I'm a good So for anybody watching, you can go onto Lori's I'm page. A person of integrity. And you can search the page. Go on the video. And then you can search Rich Side K9, and you Taylor will clearly Taylor hear her say review. multiple times to go on to Rich Side K9 and to leave a negative review. Said it multiple times in the video. I want you to go find that. Aaron. I know. It's crazy. It's what it is. Somebody go find but, it. But what I would say Nobody's is this. Listen. It's unfair for you to talk about the That's big companies. Off Leash K9 is not a bad company. Now. Hold on one second. Hold on. Off Leash K9, who I do not work for and I'm in direct competition with, is not a bad company. They do do a lot of good work, and that's the truth. Sit means sit. Direct competition. For two is. Hold on. Direct competition for me. But I'll still tell you 
they're a good company with some good trainers, right? When it comes to and people trying to make a difference, it's that. unfair to judge an entire company with hundreds of trainers simply based off the encounter you had with one or two. Now, when you keep talking about Tommy, Tommy did used to have prior employment. It's with terrible, company. Aaron. Every dog is doing the shake off. He's training with his hands in his pockets. He has his hands in his pockets. He's walking along with his hands in his pockets, looking back at the dog. Yeah. I'm going to send you a couple of my recalls, but if you, you're more than welcome to come here. I've been doing this. I've got it down to a science. It's technical training. Okay, well, I have a background in science. I have a degree in psychology from George Washington. Let me explain exactly. Let me just explain real quick. I can grasp concepts very, very quickly. So go ahead. I'm using the pager. The vibration. Please say the word vibration. Please say the word vibration. No, Aaron. It says pager right here. Yeah, and what does the pager do on the collar? Pick the e-collar up in your hand and hold down the pager button, please. Where's the collar? Pick it up in your hand in front of the camera and hold the button that says pager. Aaron, you're really bossy. I mean, it's ridiculous. No, let's be clear. This is a... Hold the collar. Anybody knows what it is. Hold the collar in front of the camera. It it's vibrating. But it's the synergy of feelings. It's sounds, vibrating. It Thank you. Vibrating. I know. So it's haptics. Would you agree it's haptics? You can use the word haptic, which means vibration sensation, but let's just say the word vibrating for a simplistic no. inner, for a simplistic no, answer. No, Aaron. Oh, yeah. Haptics is the language of touch. So I can do different things with it. You understand I have a blind deaf dog that's trained with I've trained thing, multiple right? deaf dogs, but go ahead. I'll put my deaf dog work up against yours right now. If you don't have any with you, let's do a video contest. <laughs> It's, it's Ma'am, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of five-star reviews with very long write-ups. Not like yours, where it's just a weird name and a five-star with no write-up. We have hundreds of write-ups. Go read. It sounds like you're the one stalking me, Aaron. I've never been on your reviews, and you're not going to find. I know myself, So Aaron. this morning when I, I got you, CT I, with all your negative I reviews on me, it guy. was hilarious. You, you definitely, you you definitely follow me, ma'am. Search, search your page for my Rich Side Canine and search mine for yours. Uh, yeah, it's pretty direct on, 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 on who's mentioning who around the clock. You even said, uh, you even did a video say, saying Rich Side Canine, I'm on the attack. And you, you labeled your video, I'm on the attack for Rich Side Canine or something like that. That was the one sent to me this morning. So don't act like you don't talk about Rich Side Canine. That's, oh, no. That, well, fun. no, that was today. No, today I did. Uh, no, no, this, this was from a year ago. But go ahead. About the Malmute? Yes, ma'am. So my question yeah, still goes back to you on the on the Malamute. Peter didn't like my, it my my question still Peter goes back to you, and I and I would like a, a legit discussion, professional dog training discussion about this. If you cannot get a leash on the willing, dog without yeah. being chewed up, would you be willing to go on? Would you be willing to go live with Phyllis Dobbs and me? I'll go live with anybody. I'm not intimidated by names. I've been through a lot of my life. I can handle stress pretty good. What about Michael? Do you want to go live with Michael? I, I, with, and have her tell you I don't know what I'm doing? Who said you don't know what you're doing? Would you believe Michael? Who said you don't know what you're doing? You. N negative. And all your friends. Back it up. Don't don't say all my friends. I and have about two said. friends in my life. But let's let's back this up for a minute. Well, all your little people. I don't have little people either, ma'am. I have a lot of dog trainers. Well, I don't I don't have little people. So well, let let's be what, careful about then, that. And answer me this. How are you training these people? How are you training them? Training who? How, what what kind of training are they getting? These trainers that work for you. What what what? How long of a course are they going? Philosophical, um, collective management style. But I mean, they come there and you teach them for like a year. Well, hold on a second. That's inside business information. Why in the world would I discuss inside business information? Well, Off Leash Canine says that you go there for 10 days and train 70 dogs, and that's how you know how to do it. Well, well bring on uh, Nick White and, and talk with Nick White about it. Nick White would be happy to discuss I've things already with got, you. I've already gotten on to Nick White. He told me he was a multimillionaire. If he said, what did I say? I said, buy a farm, Richie Rich. Stop training in a business park, parking lot. <laughs> Aaron, it's if you want to just – what I am is this work that I do. That's who I am. Great, congratulations. And when I see people using the, if I see people using the e-collar wrong, I do say something. 
And if that bothers you, I can understand. No, that. no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you, Aaron. You can't. No, we're, no, we're no. We're back no, in La La Land finish. again, man. Let me finish. I had to message Let you. Me finish, Aaron. I had to message you today, correct or wrong, and say, bring me on live. Stop talking about it. I have a construction conversation. Because you said. I didn't realize you were an expert in this area. So I wanted to inform you that I was on the Dr. Pro staff for 18 years, mm -hmm. that I am an expert. And the way I got the chameleon was because Michael contacted me about my work. Mm -hmm. That's how I got the chameleon, Aaron. Okay. So I am an expert with the e-collar. Great. And that's my motivation. And I really thought you were a good guy because I met you through Michael. And she said, this guy is a young dog trainer. To me, you're young, my, I, and I don't mean that in a bad way. That's okay, way, I appreciate it. But this is a young dog trainer starting out that's totally committed. And I said, I like this guy. I did. I said, I like this guy. And she said, you know, he's learning the e-collar. And that's how I met you. So I put your name in the video today, Mike or Aaron, because I knew that you would come. And I said, he won't let these people bully me. And he will be serious about talking callers. And he will be serious about me no. showing him what this Tom no. is doing wrong yes. and fixing it. Tell me this, Aaron. Are you training in drive? I only train in drive. So you're trying to say Tom, but Tommy doesn't have any food. He doesn't have any food. But the dog take he doesn't food. have a toy. What if the dog won't take so a toy? He's not training in drive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Back it up. Tommy's not training a working dog in that yeah, video. He's dog. training a house pet. And if the dog will not take food, you must be to train. Yeah, just leave him sitting. If you said, show me a French bulldog, I've got a French bulldog. I can show you. So you're saying that one breed manifests into you three can't all, you can't all breeds? Well, oh, that doesn't make logical sense. I've never seen him use food. I've never seen him use food in any video. I assure you, Tommy uses food at times when appropriate. And when he doesn't need to, he doesn't. When he needs to use a toy, he uses a toy. Tommy trains then in motivation. What drive, then what drive are you training in if they're not using food? What drive are they in? I keep getting phone calls and text messages. It's pausing right now. This, this, this is where it, it shows me with all due Just respect. Just answer me that, Aaron. No, stop. Stop. Don't, don't. If they're not like in that. food drive. Um, th this is where it shows a little bit of your, in a, either one, lack of experience or two, uh, lack of well-rounded ability. And that when you take in a house pet, they're not always in drive. You may take a lazy dog that won't take food, won't take a toy, doesn't want to be fucked. Aaron, I take dogs that won't eat and get them eating. Of course, because with time, you can get all dogs eating. It's called starving the dog and feeding them when they're starving. Of course, that's not rocket science. But that's not the point. What if the dog with Tommy is on his first You're day? You're not going to find anybody that says I starve dogs. Okay. Really quick. I would really prefer to go back to the video that you spent an hour mad dogging me on about the uh, Malamute. My question to you stands. If you have a pound dog with multiple. Was there ever a video? Uh, Listen, answer uh, me this. Was there a video there we go. passed that day? Was there a video of that dog passed that day? Uh, probably multiple. There was definitely photos of the owner, okay. uh, long write up, but that's not that's not important. My question to you, you won't touch, which is, how do you deal with a dog that will come up the leash and bite you for real the moment you try to put a leash on it? Not a dog that's indifferent, not a dog that's reactive, not a dog. I've got a video about no, it. No, 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 no. Because I got a kennel full of Malawas that'll make you real humble real quick. I promise you that. You get it. By the door, but we're talking about companion dogs, and I'm talking about this video. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about the video where you mad dogged me with the Malamute who had multiple bites, did go through off leash canine and chewed up a, a did, did a hand bite, got sent home, went to sit me sit and got sent back, and we were the last resort before the dog got put down. The last resort, and the dog would be. What I down. didn't like, Aaron. What I didn't like was when you yanked it when it was right next to you. So if the dog and was trying went, to bite me, nine. right, because that's his conditioned nine. response. That's his conditioned response. But you response. were stationary. You should have got the whole thing in motion. Get the whole thing in motion and they don't bite you. Anyway, the I'll go thing I've ever heard my entire at, uh, life. I've been to the hospital go, ER. I'm sorry, that Malmute video was bothering me. I've been to the ER multiple but times from a dog bite. Said, Look at this fucking guy. Yeah. So now the real you is coming out.
I've no, personally I've been to the got ER. Dog bites all over me. Every time I I've talk, you talk over me. All over me. I, I've got dog bites. I know. Every time me. I talk, you talk over me. Can I speak? All right. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, no. Can I speak? I will go and check out the Malmute. I'll go and check out the Malmute. And if that video is bothering you, and I can see that the dog turned out amazing, I'll delete it. I don't care. No, no. Let me speak, please. And the only reason, the only reason I. Because Does anybody else hear her not letting me say a sentence? No, I hear you telling me, no, 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 shut up. I never said the word shut but, up, lies. That's about the 10th lie you've told today. I've never said that word. I don't use that word, but continue. Aaron, I'm waiting for your people to come back and say where I told multiple people to go leave you a negative review. I put your name That's on video there because I said, Aaron, Aaron's a good guy. He's a stand-up guy. He's not, he's going to tell this, Tommy. Just leave her alone. Just stand down, and I'll talk to her. She's not a bad person. She's a good trainer. She's just a retired old pensioner. And let me talk to her, and let me take a look at her work. Great. Okay. Are and you? Let me explain to her what she's doing wrong. Not go on there. I feel like I'm doing a, a evaluation here to make a custodial reviews. situation. Um, really quickly, I, I would really like to to finish a sentence, and I would like for you to answer it for everybody to watch. How do you deal with a dog that comes up the leash to bite you? I was trying to explain. You understand I've got 20 to 30,000 videos on YouTube. Of all how do you of deal with a dog that comes up the leash to bite you? I have the owner put the collar on it. No, no. Before they whoa, whoa, the whoa. gate. That, and this is my point. We do dogs that you won't do. That's my point. The owner can't live with you 24 hours a day. Is that correct? The owner can't stay at your house, right? We're talking about e -commerce. No, no, no. I'm and asking you a question. How do you put the leash on a dog that is trying to come up the leash and bite you? How do you deal with it? I have the owner. Does the owner live with you? Does the owner live with you? I've got the video of the Iraqi dog that nobody can handle. It comes here, and within an hour, I'm leading it around. Does the, the owner so live that. with you? So what do you do when the owner leaves and you have to get the dog back out? I, it still has a collar and a leash. Great. So when you grab that leash the and the dog comes straight at you, up the leash to attack you, what do you do? Doesn't do that, Aaron. I hit the pager. By then, they're throwing off their game a little bit, and I take them outside. That's the absolute, dog, absolute mumbo-jumbo. That is bullshit, and I'll call it bullshit. You always say the word bullshit, so I'll curse in front of my son for that one. That's bullshit. I assure you, a little vibration, even high-level maxed-out stem, will not stop an attack. Period. End of story. Period. And it, that is a state of mind, though, Aaron. The dog is not in the state of mind. It shows that if you've never dealt with that. Listen to me. If it isn't a handler. It shows that you've never dealt with If it with isn't a handler aggressive dog. It shows that you've never talk, experienced Aaron, that, talk. but you judge yes, others that do it for a living. Let me talk. Let me talk. No. Let me talk. If it is not a handler aggressive dog, all you have to do is assume the role of the handler. Am I wrong? So what if it's a handler if aggressive dog? Handler -aggressive. No, no. It's a handler aggressive dog. So answer my question. Handler aggressive, 100%. I just tell them it's, what's the point? Why do you want a handler aggressive dog? No, no. The dog's already handler aggressive and they came to you to fix it. How do you do it? I, it's not fixable. Hey, Douglas, you just said pitch right here. Douglas Guevara just marked up. Your buddy brought that crazy Doberman that was handler aggressive and tries to chew everybody up. Did I deal with that dog? Pretty sure I did. I've dealt with a million handler aggressive dogs. Aaron, I'll go look at the work. And I know a little bit about Dobermans, too. Oh, okay, great. You can go so look at my picture from 1996 where I was with multiple Dobermans, but that's okay. So, again, ma'am, back to the point because you, you can go look at my picture from 1988 where I was with Diane Van Stenenberg, the most titled Doberman in the world. So, there you go. Douglas said, hell and yeah, new dog. Whatever. And that dog had bites. And that dog wouldn't come out of a damn kennel, right? But we had to deal with it. And again, you can't judge the fact that Dobermans when we're dealing with pussies. very. Dobermans are pussies. Dobermans are pussies. All right, listen. <laughs> I'll go look at your work. You're not being respectful, though, Aaron. Okay, you're that being, that this is crazy. You don't you don't get to have you don't get to laugh and yell and scream and act emotional and then tell me I'm not being respectful when I'm just I'm actually being baited into you're this conversation. You're the one that said and respect. If you look at your view count, you have the biggest view count right now you've ever had on a video. The biggest you've ever had. Who cares? You should be happy about that.
Aaron, I probably had more when I was attacking what was, oh no, Danny Wells. <laughs> Danny Wells. Danny Wells. No, the Danny Wells video. If you said, what, oh, he was cute too. If you say he ended up getting eaten up by Mel and all after I said that. This, this has nothing to do with my uh, question. So again, just really quick, Aaron, if you I can explain. Care. What I care about, I don't care about view counts like you do. I care about so, training dogs. We'll be, we'll be we train yeah. live seven days a week. I show the whole process beginning to Are end. you saying that I don't show the and process of training the dog? Can you honestly say that? You told me. Can you honestly say that? That I don't show the process of dog training? That's just what I'm saying. Then you clearly don't watch. I'll go look. Please. But I don't see you live. Do you go live with an e-collar? <laughs> <laughs> is this real? This is like I'm being punked or something. I don't. I don't get it. Um, man, I'm just a question. Yeah. If you ask me, I'd say every day, all day, every day, live. Yeah, but you don't show anything in your videos. It's dogs running around a backyard and playground. They don't. They're not training. You're doing vibration recalls. You you can get that behavior in two three days. That that that's that's not complex. And you clearly need to go take a closer look. I have a Siberian Huskies doing trained retrieves. I've developed something called a pager trained retrieve, a wireless check cord. Nice. It, on and on and on. Nice. I've got a blind deaf dog that delivers to hand. I've got three week old puppies delivering to hand. Wow. My puppy work is off the chart. Nice. Cool. Yeah. I am going to message Michael, though, and tell her you're guy aaron isn't a good guy well, that's my opinion by all means you can it's message whatever you would like um i i, I believe she's, she's because smart I and independent were, enough to make I her really own association were. and assumption on that i thought you were a good guy and the only reason i put your name in the video this morning you said that i was scared to go live you. with you you thought i was a good guy you were literally yeah. talking about me this morning talking shit about me this morning and then you posted a comment on your yeah. live video that i was scared how to go upsetting live. this how upsetting how upsetting could this be? How upsetting could that be? You're already saying I don't know what I'm doing and I have no experience. So I never said either. How upsetting could it be if a complete stranger uh, says something? You look things up. I don't understand. Let me go back to the three week old. Well, you're about thing. to see, Kendall. Let me go back to the three week old. Lucy, because go I get breathe. the three week old puppy video. Because I breathe. Go get the three week old puppy video. I they have litters here yeah, and there of Malawas, right? Uh, pretty look. easy to verify that. I've never seen a three-week-old doing any kind of freeze. Ever. Ever. Ever, as a matter of fact. I've seen three-week-old puppies crawling around with, like, slides, pulling themselves, barely walking, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. That that one I got to call BS. Aaron, I didn't call I'm going to show you. Yeah, I don't, I've got videos. Anyway. I've got, I've got videos. Lucy, please go get the. Is that your kennel behind us where the cages are stacked up? Aaron, this is nothing to do with training. It's you trying to attack me and avoid talking ah. about work. I'm not attacking you. Yeah, those are my personal dogs. I breed Labradors and German Shepherds. Can I see? And I train service and I do something called pager training okay it's called e-collar association no problem with that with uh i appreciate that can you turn your camera so i can see the uh kennels quiet puppy aaron if i turn my camera okay. no not turn your camera as you're facing it just kind of rotate it so we can see all those kennels stacked up behind you I'm here all day, every day. Everybody sees my live. Everybody I know has kennels in their house. So what does that have to do with anything? I what like does that to have to do with the e-collar? Slightly rotate the camera so we can see all the stacked up curtains behind you, please. So your clients can see how their dog stay when it comes stay with you. No, no. Just like you. They know. I'm in a van. I, mean, I don't even take new clients. I'm in a custom van. That they don't even I don't even take new clients, Aaron. I'm in a custom so, van. Don't worry about my clients. I have kennels in my house, too, that I show. I'm just saying, see the for the dog. crate stacked up behind you, can I just see? I'm, that's all I'm asking is to see the crates behind you. Yeah. 
No, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> you want to see the dog? Okay. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Is it a Doberman? There you go. So what if... So they said, is he so if you can just rotate the camera, what if I said that I was going to prejudge you because I don't agree with the condition you're keeping your dogs in stacked up crates on top of crates? What if I said I didn't agree with that and therefore I thought that made you a bad uh, person? Would you, would you be defensive about that? Probably, right? There's a, reason, there's a very specific reason I keep my puppies up like that. And if you said why, it's because so they can be handled. So you pick, have to pick them up and put them back, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up every day to put them in there. So I do it for a reason. You're not even talking about the caller now. You're just trying to say you're better than me. Never said that. I'm trying I to, I saw something behind those. you that I wanted to clarify. Those are my personal dogs, Aaron. Those are my personal dogs. You would never. That's my personal Doberman. Where do you put your client's dog? That's my personal dog. Where do you put your client's dog? I'm retired, Aaron. I don't have clients, remember? Well, then you lie in all your videos. I don't you just posted day. like three videos today training dogs. Are you not training dogs? <sighs> Are you training you're dogs not or not? Respectful. You're not talking about training. No, no. Are you training dogs or not? Uh, my opinion is you don't, you're not using the e-collar right. What Tommy I'm Loveless wrong. isn't using it right. You're not showing all the training. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. You're wrong jerking that Malinois. Absolute lies. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. You're not training and drive. You're not, you're not training and drive. You're using constant. I and think that you owe Tommy Loveless an apology. You're not holding the leash right. I you're think that you owe Tommy Loveless an apology. Oh, my God. Uh, Tommy Loveless an apology. Uh, that's never going to happen. Aaron. I think you owe Offley's K9 an apology. I think you owe Offley's K9 an apology. What Offley's K9? No, I don't. Yes. What about Ivan? Does he owe him an apology? Does Ivan owe him an apology? I don't know who that is. Does Ivan, the Malinois guy, the competition guy, did a whole thing about them i don't know who it is that was like three years ago i don't know i don't you don't control me aaron i'm not apologizing off leash canine is two weeks of hitting dogs with constant they have a terrible reputation i don't work for off leash canine but, goes I, but, but i do know that's that's your rate of what you're saying let's forget about them let's forget about them let's forget about them okay the point the bottom line is your take is that i don't know what i'm doing i, never I don't that. take care of my dogs properly and um I'm, I lie. I told people to go on your page and put a one-star review, which I don't do. I'm a person of integrity, Aaron. You saying this doesn't, and all your people bullying me, does it not make me a person of integrity. Everything I own is paid for. I, I bought a farm so I could live on land and train dogs. And I started with Jim and Phyllis Dobbs back in the 90s. And I've been at it every day since. You know where I live? And I just am who I am. You can't control me. And your people say, do you think that I would say I have a video of a three-week-old puppy picking up a tiny set of keys if I didn't? Yes, I, I, I absolutely think that you would lie about it. Do you think I would say... Do you think that I would say I have the fastest recalls on the planet if I don't? Do you think... I yes, I do think you would lie about that. Yes, I do. I've got proof, though. What? How could you say you have the fact? Like, just to say that shows a level of just complete. I've thousands of videos of it. Thousands. Literally thousands. Cool. Thousands of it. If I didn't have videos, I believe me, I would say the same thing. I was. And, uh, you broke question. out, but what does that mean? You have the fastest recall. Does that mean you have the fastest dog, the fastest acknowledgement? What does that mean, the fastest recall on the planet? Mean that I can hit that pager and it bends it like Beckham and they're back coming at you like a rocket. I'll show you. I'll show you. Hang on. I just uploaded one today. If you really want to learn about dogs, Aaron, then you're not going to make me your enemy. And I only put that on there. I only put your name on there because I thought you would come and I was going to delete it. And I said, Aaron's a good guy. You didn't He's say not that. not going to. So... 
I messaged yeah, you. Aaron's a good stand-up guy, but now I don't think that anymore. But you never said that. But you definitely never said that. You have talked about Rich Side, my trainers. You even talked about Courtney Wolf. You even put up a video about him I saw this morning. So uh, you commented all about him. Rich Side came out in Orlando. You were all over his video with him out a while where he was exposing a dog to a barbell, and then you picked apart the video as if it was some IPO competition dog when he was first exposing the video. So, again, it's very easy on – Facebook to search things and you can see it pretty quick, but yeah, you, I know. you are kind of like what your name in the video. You're like a stage five. Okay, here's, the, here's the recall. Right now. Right now. Right now. I, I, it's a technique, Aaron. I've got a technique to get any of them to come. Right so I, 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 I would be happy to continue with you, but you do owe Courtney an apology. You do owe Tommy an apology. I don't even know who that is. I don't know anybody apology. I don't know who these people are. Let's be honest. If you I were definitely it, rude to Tommy this morning, right? If I said it, all right, look, here's, here's why I was check courting. This is what I developed. This is what I developed. This is my development. Using an e-collar for a recall is not a new development. All right, watch. Fact. Watch. There's the signal. <laughs> hey. There's the signal. Can Daddy watch. do that? There's He's the damn signal. right, buddy. Showing you exactly what I'm doing, Aaron. Yeah, I can. She said, "Show me more." Do, do you honestly think that that, that I cannot do that? <laughs> well, this is this is incredible. Um, <laughs> great job. So you, you then don't get then show me. So let me ask you a question: If your dog does not respond to vibration, what do you do? I there's it's two concepts. The pager says come back as fast as you can, and the Nick says do not go. So you give stem. Yeah, I'll use a neck, uh -huh. absolutely. I'm an e-collar expert. So you give stem, right? It's not stem. The nick says don't go farther forward. Everybody knows I use the Hold nick. on. What does the nick do? The with the sound box. What does the nick do, ma'am? What does the nick do? Don't go farther forward. Oh, you so the, the nick speaks fine. a language? The nick speaks a language. What does the nick do to the dog? When you press the button nick, what does the collar do? It contracts the dog's muscle in a very low. It delivers area. stem. Stop saying that. It, I can show you. The Nick the delivers yeah. stem. It Stop contracts saying that. Contracts the muscle. Do not lie to your it people. Now I can't stand for lies. When you tap Nick or momentary, right or a bump, whatever you want to call it, that delivers stem. So don't talk shit as if you're not stemming your dogs. Hitting Nick is a stem. End of story. Period. There it is. There it is. This is going to tell you exactly what the stimulus is doing. And, and no, 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 no. Behavior. I'm asking you a, 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 a mechanical question. When you press the button that says Nick, what does the collar do to the dog? Why can I? It sends a signal that, that contracts. What is the, the signal? What is the signal? Area. An electric stimulation. Thank you. Just say that to people. You're stimming the dog. They are not responding to your vibration. They are avoiding stem. There's no book. Your vibration no book is a warning stem is coming. Stem That's your vibration. No, is a warning that no, correction is coming. Vibration no, equals not. Nick. Comply, avoid the correction. Come back, turn off the vibration. Mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted. That's not how don't it works. get it twisted. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about, Aaron, because that's not how it works. So when you the, press the, Nick. The, 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 the pager. Hey, Big Mark, what's up, Big Daddy? You're supposed to hit me up when you were at Bell yeah, Airport, man. I don't appreciate that. And you're trying to talk like you're all sweet. When, when you press Nick, you are therefore you stemming the dog. Right so when you say you're pressing vibration in Nick, the dog is not responding out of vibration. Vibration is a preparatory command, the command of execution, right? They are avoiding your Nick by complying with vibration. It's the same way everybody no, teaches. Aaron, the same way everybody Nick teaches. doesn't happen until way later. The Nick is way later. Once the dog understands, come back, come back, come back, come back, you put them in a situation where they decide not to come back and decide to go farther forward. You then add the Nick, but they already know to come back. They already know to come back. What if they don't come back? I've got all kinds of videos. No, no. What if they don't come back? Not your pets. I don't care about demo dogs. Pop, 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 I don't pop, care pop, about demo pop, dogs. Pop, 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 pop until it stops. Pop, 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 and you turn it up as you go. Pop, 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 pop So you're pop, delivering pop, stem at a controlled level, and you're increasing drive. You're increasing that level 
until you get compliance, correct? Aaron, and you have nerve to talk shit about all Answer me this. Answer me this. No, no. You have nerve to talk shit. I have multiple. Go ahead. You have a sound box. Multiple. Then show me on a sound box what you're doing, and I'll show you on mine because I've got my recalls on a sound box. They've been out forever. What's the? That, that, that's not new technology. That, that, that's not some secret thing. But I'm just saying that's a better way for you to understand what I'm doing is the sound box. Am I wrong? If I show you a video with the sound box, you'll understand it. Right? I understand exactly what you're doing, ma'am. I understand exactly what you're doing. There's, there's no secret. To not what you're describing isn't what I'm doing. I'm using it on little itty bitty puppies. You understand that, right? So you think I'm hitting little puppies with Did me? Did you see a video I just did a week ago on how to take golden retrievers, mm -hmm. teach them a send away on vibration and a recall on tone? I'll take a look. Take a look. I just put it up a couple days ago. We do it a couple times fuck. a week. See, the problem is, is that. You said it's fast as fuck. I'm sorry? You said it's fast as fuck. Oh. I'm going to tell what? you why tone doesn't work. It's because dogs learn better by feel than sound. And that's why the tone. Absolutely is not. Effective. Nope. Can't agree with that one. How does an electric fence work? So you're going to say dogs don't learn better by feel? They, they learn by feel 100%, but don't say they don't learn by sound. Yeah. Don't say that. I, I said they learn better by feel. How does an electric fence work, ma'am? Been around since it's the true. 70s. I've got that in a book, too, Aaron. Do you no, want no, 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 no. Electric fences, ma'am. How do they work? They've been around since the 70s. They never changed. Do they warn first by tone or vibration? Do they warn first by tone or vibration? Sure. They don't work that I know of. And people tell me they're going to get one. I say, God, don't get one. Those don't work on these. Do they dogs. learn if better? They work on work. Does dogs. the fences worn by tone or vibration? Aaron, there's no more point. That's my French bulldog. I've got to go. Let's just leave it with you're the e collar expert. I never said I that. keep my clients' dogs in the house. You can play crates. victim all you want, but I never said that. I never said any of that stuff. So don't don't go there. Right. You called me a liar. And you, you, you have lied that multiple that times during this video, yes. People. You have lied. You're not going to find, but there's proof, Aaron. You're not going to find me saying put negative reviews. Go on to your page, search the word Rich done. Side Canine. The first video that popped up, watch it. You say it multiple times. You are lying about that 100%. You are. You're lying. It's on video. I might have said go put an angry. I might have said go put an angry on that video. Oh! I might have said go put an angry on that video. I admit that. You I'm said to multiple reviews. people, go in there, leave negative reviews, leave negative comments. Yes, you did. It's okay. Yeah, it's on your I video. Mean, you don't I have to take your head. It's I, there. I probably said. I probably said go leave negative comments. I'm, I'm sure I did. And if you said you were the only one leaving negative comments, I was. So you just now admit that you did say go leave negative comments and angry. No, I. But a negative comment, Aaron, can be removed. A negative review can't. Because people do that to me, those UK trainers, because I tell them they don't know what they're doing. So they've got put one star reviews on my business. And so I wouldn't do that to you. I am a good, decent person. And I Aaron. wouldn't do it to you either. And, and I haven't. Crazy. And I have not. I have and not done that say, to you, have I? I gave you the respect of coming on here after you are saying that. I don't know what I'm doing. My whole life. Ma'am, if you continue to say that, you can, you can say it all you want, it. but it does not make it fact. I never said that. You never said what? That you don't know what you're doing. But I do know what I'm doing, Aaron, and that's how I know Tommy Loveless is doing the call. But you don't know Tommy. You don't know Tommy. You don't know Tommy. And you don't know the dog, the nuances. The, the variables that were involved, you would admit that there's variables, nuances, things you miss in a video. Would you not admit that? That's why I said it in slow-mo. That's why I took the video and said it in slow-mo so you can see everything better. Hold on. I'm having some technical difficulty. There we go. That's what I do. I'm, I'm aware. Take people's but, videos but would you not agree? Hold on. Would you not agree when Tommy was working that dog, they you are missing the nuances, the behind the scenes, the variables, there's so many things you miss in a video. So to just come out and judge a really good trainer with a lot of experience, and Tommy has a tremendous amount of experience, make no mistake about it, it's kind of messed up. You know what I mean? It's, it just goes your own weakness. In drive. He's not training in dog drive. Dog doesn't have drive. How do you train? Do you not train dogs in drive? There's no such thing as a French bulldog that doesn't like food. Hogwash. Hogwash. Total, total, that's... This is just 
almost like crazy at this point. Are you telling me that house pets that come to training all have drive? They all have drive. Okay, so what do you do if it doesn't have drive? The original low level stimulus was re was developed for bird dogs and the way that they were supposed so bird to dogs, do a highly driven dog, dog that can run all day and chase all but stimulus. Listen to me. But this is how they did it. And we're now comparing that we're now we're comparing that to, to a house pet. You were supposed to use the e collar. You were supposed to use the e collar when the dog was in drive. Lucy, that's what and they were using retrieve drive because they were hunting dogs. And if you said you cannot count on companion dogs to have retrieve drive, bingo. The only drive left is food drive. So in order to train and drive, you've got to build food drive, which is what I do. And if you said, what if you can't, if you can't even get them to eat, you're not going to be able to get them to sit or do anything willingly. So really quick, the first class I took with Michael Ballone, I'm talked about dogs that wouldn't take food. I'm a trainer, Aaron. That's who I am. And if you have a problem with me, I'm sorry. No, no. Don't I'm play sorry. victim card. You started this back. whole thing. You. I will, you. I will go back. You. Not but I'm not sorry that I said any of these things because it's what I believe. But I think you I'm should apologize to, to Tommy. Business. I think you should apologize to Tommy. I'm not. Tommy called me a cunt online about a year ago. Okay. Because I said he was. So Tommy not, works for me. So on behalf of Tommy, hold on. On behalf of Tommy, I'll apologize. Right. Hold on. I'll apologize. Yes. Thank you. And say if that was Thank said, you. that that was inappropriate. I, I really can't. That was inappropriate. But I think you should apologize to Tommy now. It, Aaron. And that's honestly, I want you to know that's who I thought you were. I said he isn't a Tommy Loveless. Aaron is a good man. That's what I said. He's a good man. He's a family man. He's running a business. I'm the last person he shouldn't want to be friends with. And I met him through Michael. That's how we met. Okay. Because you went to the school and you were in a picture with Michael. I said this guy cares about training. Michael said he's a young dog trainer starting out. He says he's a cute guy. He's a cute guy. He says he's a family guy. He's wet. He wants to learn. That's how I met you. So, so ask Michael. Okay, let me back it up really quick and just say this. Okay? I appreciate, I appreciate, I think very highly of you for apologizing for Tommy because if you said, if, if somebody called my wife that, or my mother, or my sister. Yeah. But now I think you, I think you need to apologize on your behalf. Show you, show you the bigger person, and also apologize for how you treated Tommy this morning. I think that's well, fair. Well, but that was from before, though, Aaron. That was because he called me a cunt, and said, sicked all his friends on me. They sent me death threats and everything." No, that's not true. So. No, I don't believe that for a second. Tommy's been involved in a lot of yes, stuff in his is. life. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. That was Travis Bobo. Stop it, stop it. That was Travis Bobo. Hold on, I like that Travis, too, but I like Travis, too. I just Travis sold, Bobo. I just gave Travis a mile wall for tracking. Okay. I like wait, Travis. And Travis is another American hero. Okay, anyway. I, I, all I said to Travis was put a wireless line on a dog before you put it in the water, and I got death threats. Death threats? Aaron. Death threats? Yes. No, no, come on. That's an exaggeration. We both know that. Did you did it's you antagonize these people first? I said no. Come on, put a wireless line. I said Travis added me as a friend. I said here's a cute guy. He's young. He's putting the dog in the water with a long line. And I said you should get an invisible line for the water. And it fell downhill from there. If you said your intention was to be a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't, though, Aaron. It was genuinely, here's a young dog trainer that would be super interested in installing a wireless line, which is what we call it. And yeah, I, I understand thing, all that. Um, but let's go back to what I was saying. And show me, please show me in the world, because this video is going to get thousands and thousands and thousands of views, because you're on my channel now. Aaron, let's not kid ourselves. It, let's not kid ourselves. Are you trying to say you're like some world famous trainer? No, but this will get thousands of views, I promise. You're on my platform. So let's just say this really quickly. Please show the world. Well, let's hope people take a look at this work of mine. Please show the world you're a bigger person and apologize like I did for you. Apologize to Tommy and to Rich Side, or just say I'm sorry for Rich Side. You can just apologize in general. Aaron, but listen, I apologize I to, you. to tell you. The only I apologize to apologize, you. And I'm going to tell you. Listen to me. The only reason I put your name in there was because I knew you would come. And I have every intention of deleting those videos. I don't have any intention of disparaging you, but I knew that you would come because I said, Aaron is a hero. 
Aaron is a good guy, and he's not going to let Tommy Loveless and his group of bullies start calling but me a Why cunt. do you say the word like bullies, though? Before. You come at these people, you initiate contact, and then you call them a bully. Aaron, Tommy didn't know who you were right. prior to this morning. Yes, he did. No, sorry. I unfriended my friend Alice a year ago because she was friends with Tommy Loveless. And she said, I have to be friends with him. He's off leash canine. He's in my town. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Off leash is not a bad but company. I'm, I'm, I'm like you. You're not friends with the enemy, are you? So I'm not friends with people or more friends with people who have done me wrong. So How did off leash canine do you wrong? Tommy. How did off leash canine do you wrong? No, not, not, not off leash canine, Tommy was going on there saying, oh, she's a cunt, and getting all his friends going there saying, she's a cunt. No, I don't believe it. Old, nope. old bitch, this, that, and the other. Okay, well, I apologize on behalf of Tommy. Tommy works for me. I, I apologize. I appreciate it. And that's why, Aaron. Can you I please, Aaron, can you please. might let these Tommy Loveless do this, but Aaron. Can you please, Taylor, can you please show that you're also a bigger person and just simply say, Tommy, it was a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, too. It's not a misunderstanding that I don't feel like he's using the e-collar right, but I shouldn't personally attack people. Thank and you. you're right, Aaron. And I'm not personally attacking you. I like you. I think you've got everything it takes to be super successful. And I think you're underestimating me. And when you're in your business for 30 years. But I don't know you. How can I underestimate you? I talk to well, old school people I, all day. You're saying the only thing I have is dogs in a backyard running around. I've got- That's the only videos I've seen of yours. Just, yes. I've got a pager collar trained retrieve. I've got a pager collar trained retrieve. Okay. I've got- So a, does everybody else. Something called, everybody else has got one. Ask any rich side client if they have a tone or vibration retrieve and every single person will tell you they have it. Keep going. Well, I'd be interested to see it. Every single this client has one. But Aaron, this is a trained retrieve, not where something's getting thrown. You know that, right? I mean, it's nothing's being thrown. It's not a, it's not a fetch. It's a trained retrieve. Anyway, let's just leave it like that. I don't want to think bad of you, but I said Aaron's a soldier. I'm not a soldier. I'm a Marine. There's a hell of a difference in that. Okay. Then that's what I said. Aaron's a Marine. No problem. And... He's not going to let Tommy Loveless bull bully somebody. But you've also said that Aaron's a big Marine and a bully multiple times, and I've never talked to you prior to this, ever. And I don't remember saying you were a bully, but oh, I remember, have. I remember, and I'm going to go look at the work, Aaron, and I'm going to set it in slow-mo, and when it looks good, I'm going to apologize. But I want you to understand. But you have to understand with how, videos, you're not seeing the nuances. So if you see a dog be coming into training, the dog's a dangerous dog, and I will always throw this question back at you because we actually deal with them with back ties and pulleys and dog catch killers. poles and long lines and bite killers. suits and fake stuff. It How do you put a leash on a eight, dog eight that's trying – Why do you keep talking over me? Show me an eight-year-old. It's so rude. I, I explained to you how I Hold on. Give me, that, give me 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Understand this. We deal with dogs that require us to wear bite suits, use pulley systems, back ties, catch poles just to put a leash – Let me talk, please just to put a leash on the dog. So my question to you is, since you disgrace everything we do, how would you handle that situation where a dog will not let you touch him? How would you handle that? But situation? where's the dog going to end up, Aaron? Where is the dog ending up after you've trained it? The dog is phenomenal. But, I mean, it's going back to a pet home? It's that aggressive? The dog was phenomenal, ma'am. Go read the pet client's review. It's easy to find. And go direct with them and ask them whatever you want. Be I careful because they're war heroes too. So the dogs are with respect. <laughs> I'll definitely tell you that because they're a little crazy. But the dog is, is, is amazing. Yes, Aaron. I've been subjected to the crazy war heroes attacking me. Not attacking, said, defending. And when you attack people, you hard. open it up. No, they sent me private messages saying very threatening. And I said, it's hard for me to believe that the army would not find this conduct unbecoming that you are and if you said you're all you're doing is saying that you don't believe that these people are training right with an e-collar and that's what's causing it yeah what else do i have to say please answer my question so how saying, do you deal with a dog that won't let you put the leash on right? stop you never answer my question ma'am you never answer my question 
How do you deal with a dog that won't let you put a leash on him? And the owner leaves a dog at your house for training. Four weeks rehabilitation. The owner's with you at, or the owner leaves a dog, no, a, just you. I have an eight week minimum. How do you deal with it? I have an eight week minimum. So there's no four weeks of leaving a dog here. Eight weeks? I have an eight week Damn, minimum. I'd be a multi millionaire by now. Woo! Shit. I don't have a mortgage, Aaron. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a mortgage. I left the dog to a pro staff when I paid off my mortgage because I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take 30 care. minutes ago, you said you don't train this, anymore. So do you train or do you take them for eight weeks? This is my passion in life. So it's what I do. The third question you didn't answer. 30 I, minutes I, ago, you said you don't train anymore. So do you train or do you take the dog for eight weeks? I don't take new clients. Let's just put it this way. I don't take any new clients. I don't advertise. I don't advertise anywhere. And I don't, I just have the clients I've already had from the past or referrals. So I don't, I don't advertise. I, I'm not advertising trying to get clients. I want people to succeed, Aaron. I, I think you've got everything. Ma'am, I takes. appreciate everything you're saying. I really do. I appreciate it. But again, but I don't believe I was a detective Tommy for a long time, so I'm pretty good at conversations, and my brain works pretty damn quick. So I'm going to go back to what you said earlier about you don't train anymore, and you laughed at me when you said that, and you said that all the dogs behind you are personal anything. dogs and not clients' dogs. So I'm asking you again, do you take them for eight weeks, and are those only your personal dogs behind you, or are those some client dogs too? Those are my personal dogs, Aaron. And if somebody wants to get a dog trained, I do take them if it's – Somebody from the past. Then apologize to me for dog lying dog. to me earlier. So this is fourth dog. Then apologize to the me for lying to me. the guy brought here. But, but apologize for lying dog. earlier. The first dog he brought here was in 1992. Oh, my God. Aaron, you're just, you're just, you're not being nice. You're not talking training. You're just trying to attack me personally. And I'm more passionate about the e-collar than anybody. I'm working on a book right now, and i got a big team working on it. And <laughs> it sorry, is motivational e-collar training. Really quick, if you could apologize to everybody watching, because before you said that you don't train dogs anymore. I don't even know these And people. now you're saying you do train dogs. Well, you've already said I'm a liar, Aaron. I don't advertise. But I, you've lied I'm multiple retired. times. I can do what I want. Okay, I'm a liar. I don't know how to train dogs. And I, okay. Let's Nobody said that. you don't know how to train. But you did say you don't train anymore. And now you say liar. you do train. If someone's a liar. Well, if, if you said that, yes, that, that's a liar. Yes, ma'am. And, and you did lie on what you said about me. 100%. 100%. You, you, you did lie about what you said about me. That you don't know how to use an e-collar? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go look at your work. No, no. When I'm you said that you, said you didn't that. tell people to go on my page, leave negative reviews. You said that. 100%. I... I didn't tell anybody to leave a negative review. I said, go on there and tell him that you don't think that's right. You I said, leave angry faces and light him up. Nobody. Attack him. You said, attack him. Attack him. I think that was the word you used, attack him. I probably did because to me, that was terrible. Okay. Do you I'm apologize gonna, I'm for gonna that? Rip it. I'm going to rip it. Do you apologize? For You've that? got all your people. You've got all. Let, let me show you what you got your people on here saying. I can see him. I'm well aware. This lady is an April. This lady is a joke. Oh, none of them. Lucy, go right now and get the puppy delivered a hand video. Amanda, hi, Amanda. Can, can oh, you? Okay, I'm going to wrap this dog. up because it's actually, a, her dog in a, kennel, it's actually a hooky a day. So I, I feel bad that I've taken time away. Uh, but my son is cool playing your iPad. You're cool, right? You ready to go? All right. So I do got to make this quick because he kind of wants to go play. But. And I got some dogs to go run. But I would just – you're better than how you're acting. I know that. I try to see the good in everybody. And I know you're a good person. I know you have passion for this sport. But just because you have passion no, doesn't mean you can degrade. Doesn't mean you can degrade and talk never, down about everybody else. Well, okay? I can say – what I you say I don't know how to train, and I say you don't know how to train. So what's the difference? I never said that about you. you. Say, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> with training. You're making you this say, up. I don't know. What Stop making this up. Stop. I never said those things. You said I don't have three week old puppies picking things up. No, you don't. I don't. You do not. Nah. Uh, 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 not happening. Putting their mouth on something and retrieving is two different things. So don't get that twisted. A puppy. It's called delivery to hand. They pick it up and they put it in my hand. Oh, okay, I would. I would love to see that. They continue to do it. <laughs> That's Mike Lynch. A twenty-one year old day puppy. puppy. A twenty-one year old day puppy is doing that. 
Peter. A 21-year-old day puppy is picking up objects and putting them in your hand. Okay. Cool. Let me go get the video. No, no, I'll find it. No, I'm, I'm pretty uh, keen to have a certain yeah, yeah. So let's wrap okay, this up, really. Called, let's wrap this up. All right, hang on, hang on. It's called Tiny Puppy Skull. Let's wrap it up. You can put it down, love. It's getting kind of hot. Let's put it down. Aaron, I thought things were going good. Things are good. The reality I'm is fine. Ma'am, I'm a long-time midnight police officer, Marine. I don't, I'm not stressed right now. I, I assure you I that. Know, and that's why I said... But Aaron, I have puppies, too, though. Sorry, I thought you were in the Army. But I said Aaron's a soldier and a good man. I know. Let's, let's move on from that. People the caliber of Tommy Loveless. Go on there and start... I'm a serious pro trainer who cares only about training dogs and cares only about the ecology. I appreciate that tremendously. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I don't that. want any, anyone to fail. So let's and do this. Just search. Let me wrap this up by just saying this. Let me wrap this up by saying this, right? You, when you went after Tommy this morning, you were actually going after off leash canine originally, right? For sure, you were. And I, well, I thought he was still. With okay, him. no problem. But let me say this him. on behalf of Off Leash Canine, right? They're not a bad company. I'm a direct competitor for Off Leash Canine in Northern Virginia, DC metro area. I have a lot of friends that work there. They're not a bad company. They're not bad trainers. Are they experienced in like high aggression cases or things like this? No, but well, there are some people there that are, but they're a good company. Let's talk about the other big companies. Hold on, this is important stuff. When it comes to sit means sit and other dog trainers. Just because they're not you doesn't mean they're not good. Fred, who I am. Period. Doesn't mean Ask they're not Fred, good. Who I am. When it Fred comes was to Tommy, on the pro staff with me back in the right. Day. When it comes to Fred Tommy, was on the pro staff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to Tommy, Tommy's a damn good trainer. He's a damn good trainer. I don't think so. I don't agree with you. He's not training in drive. The dog is shaking its head. Stop. I'm going to send you. How a video do you get a dog into drive head. if they're just naturally reserved, timid, nervous, fearful, scared? Reloose, recruit, all those words. How do you kick him in the drive magically? How do you magically do that? We have Juan. How do it you do it? Time. I've got videos of doing it. Dogs that won't even take food from your hand. That at the end are kangaroo. Hands. We all do. At the end, Tommy was showing you the beginning. Big deal. Oh, okay. That was the beginning. Big deal. You show them at the end. We. I tell my trainers, who gives a shit about a finished video? Show the process. Learn. Show the process. That's what I do. Aaron. Gene Betty, I'm not trying hits. to be aggressive. I do talk very fast. I always have. My mind is very fast. So I'm not meaning to talk aggressively, but I have to get words in quick because I'm being talked over the entire time. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you as a man. I am. I appreciate you. But what you're trying to do is bamboozle me in front of your people no, no. and make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. And I think it's good for you to go on record and say this work isn't valid. And I'm a crazy lunatic. And I can't get puppies picking things up and three week old puppies doing Do retrieve the hand. I don't believe it for a second. I have puppies. I've, I've got it. Not happening. It, it, it's almost biologically, mechanically, physically, but mentally, not, not possible. Would you agree with me? <laughs> All puppies pick something up well, here we go i've got the video right here Aaron. So yeah grabbing something in their mouth is not doing a retrieve the hand because they're feeling things with their mouth and they're using their jacobson gland in the roof of their mouth to smell yeah, things this is a little bit more than that it's common so sense please hang on. all puppies mouth things because they're on. oh my god this is i'm not i, I don't want to waste time going over that because that's just not factual stuff now you're being condescending because i've got video proof okay of what i'm doing right i'm and sure right yep great um but that doesn't yeah, we won't even waste time with that one. If you said, where is, show me the dog at 12 weeks, I will. Ma'am, I sell weeks, high weeks. drive, KMPV line, Mally, Dutchy pup. Let's just call them that. Uh, just call them Dutch working dogs that are driven as shit. And at three weeks, they ain't doing retrieve the hand. Never seen it. Never seen it. I'm the first one to do it, Aaron. I'm the first one to do it. You're the first one to do it. Godfrey Dildai shared it on his page, Aaron. That's how, and some of these people on here must know who Godfrey is. And So I feel bad good. about that because I'm a reader. I read every single day, believe it or not. So I'll go research this person and I'll find it and I'll read their book. It won't take me but a day to read it. I'm a very fast reader and um, I'll it's figure that out. Involved. Probably a genius. I give him credit. But if we relied on dog training, hold on, this is, this is my, factual. One of my hold on, stop. This is factual. Supporter. If we relied on dog training from the 90s to dictate dog training today, 
my God, we'd be out of business, right? Dog training today has far surpassed anything from the 90s, period, end of story. You've got to evolve. You've got to move forward. I'm not saying anything about these people, right? Theories, methodologies, and principles, they don't change. Training changes exactly. very, very exactly. quickly. Exactly. Motivational principles don't change. I agree with that. We use that. And That's how we me. train. Listen to me. Listen to me. Good I good said, uh, you know, that Godfrey was, a lot of it was based on dolphins. And I said, my dogs are like dolphins because they're jumping off the page. And then they started mocking me. And so I went out there and got the dog. It's literally No, no, ma'am. I page. was, uh, Tommy sent me the thing. You were very aggressive. You were passive aggressive. You were, you were overtly aggressive and you were attacking Who cares how I am, Aaron? Who cares how I am? You're being aggressive to me, is what I feel. What do you mean? Who cares how you? You don't. So you don't have an open pass. You have to be held aggressive. accountable. You don't have an open pass. Yeah. Not at all. To who? To who? To just who talk shit to about Tommy. Tommy has the right to defend himself. That people that aren't. He calls me a cunt and every other thing. Tells all his friends to do it too. No, no, no. Tommy don't, don't roll to like that. Tommy ain't say. telling his friends to call you anything. Yeah. Tommy's not a pussy. He don't roll like that. I promise you. He does, no. Aaron, and that's why I put your name on there. And I don't have any problem deleting the videos with you. I said Aaron's a good guy. Aaron won't, was not going to put up with. Aaron will tell Tommy, listen, dude, we're in the military. This is some crazy fucking broad. Ignore her. She's nobody. Look at the work. It's garbage. We're a company. We're not going to acknowledge this crazy woman. Not. I'll do a video and go on here and call her a liar and say she doesn't have little puppies doing stuff and she doesn't have a blind deaf dog and she doesn't have all these things and she doesn't have fast recalls well, then who cares did anybody say any it's of that or you didn't make all that up you said you had the fastest recalls in the world <laughs> okay i mean great good job google wireless check cording wireless google check cording execution of google dollar. Was calling what it training silly. of yours can I Google? You're calling it something silly. What, what training? That's what it was. Aaron, that's what they called it in the 90s. That's what they called it in the 90s. It was called electronic check cording. That was the 90s. I just changed it to wireless because the word wireless didn't exist back then. Ask your son if he's ever played Wii with the impulse trigger. The, the impulse trigger is the dog is in drive. It's running and running. The impulse trigger says, go back, go back, go back. That's why they're doing it so fast. It's like a video game. And if you said the impulse trigger is hitting the food drive, and that's why you've got hyper animation, the best I can tell. It's very exciting, Aaron. And I don't want to end this. I want to end this that you're... I want to believe that this country is made up of men like Aaron who stand up. And if I am really some crazy, just crazy old woman that doesn't know what I'm talking about, what Marine bullies that person? No, 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 no. And, and, and this is no victim that. zone. No, no. What Marine doesn't say this woman is the age of my mother? She's clearly not well. She's clearly mentally ill. She seems to think she knows about the e-collar. She's got a bunch of videos, but it's just dogs in her backyard. So ignore her, Tommy. We are a company of integrity. And I understand that you had called her names in the past and had problems in the past. But our company, we're American men. We're not going to go after a 60-year-old woman who's worked with e-collars for 30 years, albeit she hasn't accomplished anything. Because we're God, good, God fearing, decent ma American men. Ma'am, Marine. I appreciate what you're saying. Thank you. Not, you're a liar. You told people to give me, if I had told people to give you a negative review, they would. I said, go on there and tell him you don't like what he's doing with that dog because I fancy myself an expert with northern breeds. I have a husky with a trained retreat. I've trained, and I'm going to show you my probably 50 work. between huskies, Malamutes, and American Indian dogs. I've trained probably 50 plus in the last. 24 months long. Well, then I'm going to show you That's a fact. the ones that I have. That's a fact. And if you Listen, I, I have a lot of respect for you. Me. Thank you for bringing me on I live. That, Aaron. Thank you for. I don't want to. Stop. Hold on. Let me talk. I don't. I just let you rant. Let me talk. No, I, I do appreciate that, though. But you are very controlling. <laughs> and I am. I am. Oh. Oh.
You are, Aaron. Um, and you keep telling me to hush and do all I said things. I need a hug. I didn't say anything about saying hush. I told my little man I need a hug. You're awesome. Your kid um, is awesome. But, but you've got all your people. You invited well, me on a platform. Is, yes, like a Jerry Springer show with this woman. If you said this Michael Black has got some serious work. Yeah, so anyway. Um, so now this Kristen has deemed me crazy. If you said she's got any work. Ma'am, you brought me on your platform. You knew that I had a large uh, viewing audience that would jump on here. We just gave they you. They don't have any work. We just gave you the biggest. We just gave you the biggest view count you've ever had in your entire history on Facebook. So that's a good thing. Hopefully, hopefully your view count skyrockets now. You I do have followers. Um, Aaron, but that. But why do you? So I, it is good, and I think all these people. I think what you should tell your people is. I don't have people. Is get on this woman's videos. And take a look at this woman's work and tell her how you feel. They have, I, I hope they and do. Comment with your expertise and help this woman learn what she's doing wrong with an e caller. That's what I would, I would beg you to tell Would you be person. open to that? Would you be yeah. open to a critique? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, and so I'll go right there and look at their work. Can, can, and I've taken can you please turn your you phone off as like Tommy feedback? Love. Turn your phone off, please. You're, I want you you're playing a video or something Tommy right Lovelace's. now. Oh, shit. No, you're playing a video or something in the background. Please stop that. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh. Anyway. Hey, Aaron, let's just... You have more... You've got more in common with us than you do not in common. Then why do you because attack? We both love dogs. Then, then, then why do you attack us? I attacked Tommy and used your name because I knew you would come. I knew you would come and I knew you wouldn't. And I knew that I would be able to talk to you. That's the truth. I don't have any reason to disparage you. What is, besides, and this is what people need to understand. If I really am crazy and don't know what I'm doing, what possible difference would it make what I say? Crazy well, people say stuff. This is the one thing the to remember. Hold on one second. This is the one thing to remember is that most of the people on here are dog trainers. Most of the people that I talk yeah. with online are dog trainers. They're, I mean, I have a ton and of clients. And they're, better than, and they're better than me. And, I, and I'm willing to say not a single one of these people watching is better than me with an e-collar. If you said you're full of yourself, maybe. I would say definitely. That's an honest statement. But there, there's a lot of dog trainers on if you here. Say, and if you said you haven't paid your dues, you're going to try to say I haven't paid my dues. Who said that? But that's what A couple of videos and I'm gonna yeah, go the, your the, the passive aggressive controlling dominating uh behavior you're showing as far as finishing your distances doing. for me is is telling um but if you could just back all that down for just a minute and just we'll wrap this up and um i'd really appreciate though it would show a good sign of faith on your part if you could just apologize in theory not directly. You can apologize indirectly to Tommy for the engagement this morning. I would be totally at ease with everything, and we'll wrap it up. So just apologize indirectly. Out of, out of respect for you, Aaron, and hopefully that you're going to maintain and you're going to tell your people here not to continue to keep saying, if you said they're saying anything about your work. I don't have any people and, on here. Everybody is independent dog trainers. They, I don't. You're saying, oh, hey, my boy, hey, Scotty. Hey, Kristen. Well, I see friends pop up on here. I just I'm say hello. Go on your work, That's the Kristen. purpose of I'm gonna go, live. I'm going to go on your work. That's fine. Kristen, and check out your tone work. And I bet you don't have any. But Aaron, listen, I, I don't want to. Please apologize. I don't want to not respect you. Let's apologize. I, out of this, no, no, don't. Please. Me, Aaron. I'm not your child. I'm not your child. But listen to me. Okay, I have respect fair. for you. And the fact that you're a Marine, and in my heart of hearts, when I first met you, I thought to myself, this guy's something special. He's going to take dog training. He's going to a Bart Malone seminar. Nothing's going to stop this guy. This guy might be interested in my work, which you're not. I understand that. But that's, I, other than that, then I just... I told you to quit rubbing the head. You got mad. We weren't friends. And then somebody sent me that Malinois video. I don't even 
getting infatuated with you, being on your page, none of that. The Tommy thing, I didn't know he worked for you. The only reason I put your name, Aaron, because I said Aaron's a good guy. Aaron will come when he sees that because Aaron's not going to want his business associated with Tommy and his friends harassing me because he's running a good business and he's a good man. So is Tommy. That's what I said. But so I, is Tommy. I had every. But so is Tommy. I don't believe you. So is Tommy. I don't. I'm apologizing to your business and you, but what he did to me before, you weren't there, Aaron, and he worked for Off Leash Canine, and I. It was the same thing. I said the dog is shaking its head every two seconds, and then he's went on berserk. So when I saw him again today, I said he's the shake off king. And I told somebody, go rip one of these guys' videos. And that's aggressive, yeah, right? That's, that, that, that's talking shit, which is bad for the no, dogs. No, I it? do that all the time. I do it all the time. I do it every but day. But yet if I somebody does the same thing to you, them, you call them a bully, correct? I They don't rip my videos and put them in slow-mo. They call me names and say I'm crazy. No, if anybody says somebody. anything to you, like you say to them, that's a bully, right? Come on. Full-grown men. No, 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 no. You're a full-grown woman. about a bully. This isn't about a bully. This isn't about a bully. But you use this that word all the time. Saying, you're using the e-collar. You're misusing it. You're using it wrong. You have no idea why you're using e-collar. And I'd be safe to say, uh, I would absolutely say, I find more dogs than you. That's my opinion. Am I entitled to my opinion that they are using the e-collar wrong? Would you agree? Your opinion? Absolutely. You can think whatever you would like. So that's my opinion. So I'm not allowed to voice my opinion that someone's using an e-collar wrong. Did I say that? That's what you said. I would die for your ability to uh, Aaron, freedom listen, of speech. I don't want to My question was, if they I say the same son, thing back to you. I want your son to hear me say, I respect you. And you don't I need to hear you say that. Trust me. My son knows who I am. And <laughs> then, Trust me. Then, then let him hear you say that I'm a liar and I'm not any good with an e-collar. I never said and you weren't going to go to e-collar. I did say you were a liar. You are a liar about some things, yes. And he knows how I what? feel about that. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. Well, so okay. prove it. I'm a person of integrity. I'm not a liar. You're not going to find a single person that knows me that says she's a liar. But you've lied multiple times on this person. back and forth. About what? Nothing you said. You're backing up. You said you don't train anymore and laughed at me. And then you said you do train. You said that I don't advertise you said that you never said to leave me a bad review. Then you said, oh, well, I did say go leave negative comments. We I can play semantics all day. Comments. It's the same thing. There's a dip. A review is lowering your rating to the public, Aaron. A comment can easily be deleted so that you know other people don't agree okay. with what you're doing. Then I'll take back what I so, said. Then I'll t You're right. Let me correct that then. I Maybe didn't you didn't say leave a negative review, Aaron. but you did say I go leave negative comments. said... I said I was very upset by that video, and I admit well, you obviously didn't watch it then. Upset. You said that I was an idiot in the video. I was. Everybody boy. told me go look what this guy's doing. But you didn't watch it then. That's the only reason. You said that I was on the ground training the dog. No, I wasn't. I was laying outside of a kennel, creating creating a passive association with the dog. Do it with police dogs all the time. Do it with police dogs all the time. Have you ever you trained a police dog before? Dog. Do you, but do you want to ask Bill Heiser? Could give two shits about Heiser. who that is. Beyond quite honest. I get Bill Heiser to say you don't lay on the ground in front of the dog. Will you believe me? I wasn't in front of the dog. The dog was in a cage. But you want me to ask Bill Heiser if laying on the ground? Wait a minute. A kennel. Speak the facts. The dog was in a kennel, man. In a kennel. I don't believe that. Well, and I don't believe in laying on the ground in front of the kennel. That's fine. Why is your my opinion more valuable was, than mine? That's my opinion. But why is your opinion you more valuable than mine? And put, I don't think we train okay. the same dogs, man. Fact, right? I train a lot of northern breeds. No, 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 no. It was a companion dog. It was a companion dog. Ma'am. It was a companion dog, the right? The problem is you talk so much shit about so many people, you forget what you say. You probably would agree with that. I put everything on video, so it's all on there. I don't, if I am talking, it's on video. So I can't forget it. I can't forget it. It's all on video. I know. And I am never been more confident in my life than what I'm doing with these e-callers, Aaron. So I'm not going to have Tommy Loveless 
You do know that's not even that good of an e collar, right? The one you're using. The two eighty C. Yes, it is. I'm not good. Look at it. I didn't say it was a bad e collar. It's it's it's, it's mid level. It's it's not it's not These good. Are companion dogs, Aaron. These are companion dogs. That's my point. These are companion. perfect. I'm glad you They're said that. Hold on, stop, dogs. stop. I'm glad you said that. They're you train dogs. house pets, and so do we. But we also train an enormous amount of very, very dangerous dogs that are last resort. Don't judge what you don't know. So do I. Don't judge what you yes, don't so know. Do yes, so do I. Every trainer trains a lot of last resort dogs. Then if you, said, you would not be housing them what? stacked up in little crates like that without safety equipment and everything else in play. If they were the dogs, like we get dogs here that are damn man eaters sometimes. Wow. And you alone in your room right there would Aaron, be screwed you up. Understand that Maybe I even live killed. Out in the country, Maybe killed. And these dogs are hand walked out in the country every day. Do you know where They're I live? Hand -walked loose. Do you think I live in a city or something? Well, I saw. We, I saw. We, I saw. I'm gonna go back and look at the work, Aaron. I live in uh, a country too. Do I live in a country? You're the one that's passive aggressive. Yeah. Right. You're going. I, to I live on the mountains, right? Yeah. That's what I thought too. Mm. I live in Appalachia, right? So what about... Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Odd. I forgot where I live. I live in the country, too. <laughs> You're just being a jerk, Aaron. You're not trying to be nice. You know, so you keep yours in kennels, or are they just loose? They're in actual mason kennels? Of course. I use crates, too. My loose. point is... I use crates, too. But my point is, you're judging everybody. Too, my... I've got kennels. I've got crates. I've got five acres of land. Great. My point is, you're, 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 you're judging. For you to say, me keeping dogs in crates is outside the norm of dog training. Not what I said. Not. These are my personal dogs. I simply asked to see where you were housing them. dogs. That's what what happens if you leave them loose? They eat socks and stuff. They eat socks. So All right. Well, process. listen, it's been real. It's been fun. I appreciate it. I will go live with you again. I'm going to go look on your work. I will go look at your work. And I would ask you to tell your people to go look at mine. I've got an enormous catalog. And if I don't know what I'm doing, your people ought to be able to. Would you be one. willing to bring Tommy Loveless live and, and, and talk with him? If you, do you honestly think he's not going to deteriorate and to start calling me a bunch of us? No, Tommy's a warrior at self-control. I promise you he won't. I promise you. And, and what do you want to talk? Where he got his training? Well, hold on. My question is simple. You can talk whatever you want. I don't control Tommy. He works for a rich guy. I don't control him. I don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. But you don't know him. I mean, it's not fair. You don't know him. But what I know of him is him being real. Do you know he's a 100? So, you know, listen really quick. Telling all his friends. Hold on. Just like you. They're all crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. Hold on. Do you know Tommy's a 100% disabled veteran? What is the Nick? The Nick is a pre timed nanosecond that contracts the dog's muscle. Did, That's what the Nick is. Eloise. Did you hear what I Romans. said? And it's N I C K, not N I C. You can also call it a bump, whatever you want to call it. Did, did, did you hear what I said? Tommy's a 100% labeled disabled veteran. So he has a 100% rating for disability from injuries from the Marine Corps. Are you aware of that? What does that have to do with Well, me? you keep talking life, down as if he's life some, life. like, just bad person. That's just not the case. Of course he could control himself. Of course Tommy would come live and talk with you. He's not afraid. I promise you he's not afraid. I, I, and explain why that dog is shaking its head. The dogs don't talk. Do you know how to talk to a dog? Dogs don't speak no. English. Come on now. No, I speak body English. Right, but what do you do in the in the infancy of training? Uh, All your dogs know that response. I'm going to tell you, and I want your son to hear this, how you're being disrespectful. If you told me I have three-week-old puppies yeah. putting tiny keys in my hand, I would at least say... I am a Marine. I'm a fact-based dog trainer. I will go look, lady. I will not say on and on and on that you don't have it. When you are saying that you have video of it, and I will at least give you the benefit of the doubt, and I will go look at your puppy videos to see. I would not say, bullshit, you don't have that, Aaron. I know you. You don't have anything. You haven't developed anything. I'm going to go look at your work. And I admit, I had a very bad reaction to that Malmute. I did. It's terrible. Anyway, I got to go. But I'm going to look at the e-collar work of this. 
All right. Please I'm apologize. Please apologize, apologize to our American hero, Tommy. Let, let, let me get some good sleep tonight because it'll bother me. Well, tell me where Tommy was, and I'm going to tell you what. If you said, what did I do during the Iraq War? No, no, stop, stop. Don't contact. deflect. Don't deflect. Just say, Tommy, I'm I sorry. sent thousands. Tommy, I I'm sorry. I want you to know, Aaron. I sent thousands. Tommy, I'm thousands sorry. Thousands and thousands of dollars of snacks. Means nothing. To the forward operating base. Means nothing. Of the in of soldiers in Tommy, Iraq. I'm I sorry. Packed up hundreds and hundreds of dollars of snacks. So don't say. Tommy, I repeat after me, please. Heart. Tommy, I'm sorry. Please, I'm begging you. You can do it, Aaron. You can do it. I'm gonna do it. Listen to me. Yes, you are. I am a good person. You can do it. And I'm gonna. I am gonna apologize. Tommy and I got off on the wrong foot. Okay. And I will admit that. Okay. And I'm not a fan of off-leash canine training. And I'm not a fan of people that use constant. And I'm not a fan of people that train and drive. But it's nothing personal with Tommy. And if Tommy's a Marine and all that, I do respect that. And only reason I put your name in there, Aaron, because I truly believed that Aaron will tell Tommy, stand down. Okay, but She's just some crazy you haven't apologized dog. yet. Please just say Tommy, I'm sorry. I did. I did. I said, Tommy and I got off on the wrong foot. That's not and apologizing. the things that I've said. That's rationalizing, not apologizing. Personally. That's rationalizing, it's not apologizing. Things... Aaron, how can I apologize when I'm not really sorry? You're sorry for it a little I'm bit. Yes, sorry. We know you are. You're a good person. I know you're sorry for it because you're a good person. So say, Tommy, I'm sorry. He's, I don't, you're right. No, uh, let me just say, I am sorry. I don't know Tommy like you do. And if you believe that Tommy is a good person, I do believe you. But if you said to me, he's kind of scary and not respectful of women. You can't say that. You can't make that up. This isn't La La Land shit. No, no. You can't say that about Tommy, you that he's scary and disrespectful to women. To me. But to you me. attacked him. Me a cunt. All right, now, so I accept your apology for Tommy. Thank we don't you for know. That. Aaron, this was like a year ago. Do you want me to go find? No, no, I can do it. I have staff that can do that. Original but video. listen, really quickly, thank you for your apology to Tommy. I accept it. I appreciate it. And I know he does too. And let's wrap and this up to. with an apology to Off Leash Canine. Mm -mm. Just a, they, they, they have good trainers. How do they train them? That's not for me to talk about. It's their company, but they do have good trainers there. I'm not saying they're all good. They put right on there. They put right on there that they go for 10 days of training, Aaron. No, you no. Know as well as Hold on. That's I'm not saying they're all good. It's a big company. And, and what they do is something called uh, noise desensitization. No, no. I'm not, I'm not, we're not talking about methodology with them. All I'm saying is you can't lump uh, them Aaron, all into one big group. With them is, you, you, you can't lump them No, all. they all do the throwing the stuff around. I'm not talking about that. The I'm saying as a whole. Nick does it. Nick does it. Yeah, Nick but Nick does. barely trains dogs anymore. That's, I mean, everybody knows that. But the company as a whole is not a bad company. It's a great company. Aaron, you're not, I'm going to apologize to you because, and if I talk to you much longer, I'm not going to think you're a good man. But I do <laughs> think that you want the best. I think you're the passive aggressive one because you keep, if you said people call me that, no, they never call me that. They just always say I'm aggressive. They don't say passive aggressive. I, I'm working on a book. And, and there's I'm a ton of veterans on here right now, too. A ton of people that are popping up. Well, I want you to know my father is a veteran of the Vietnam War that won a distinguished flying cross. So please don't come at me with veteran. I was raised in the military. And I have a lot of friends that are in the Army, too. My friend Lance that's on here is a dog handler in the Army. Matthew's in the Army. So don't tell me about the military. When the war was, ask Curtis Kelly. We were stationed with uh, A.R. Rock. Ma'am, please stop. Please don't counsel me on where you've been in the world. I, I, I've been all over the world, too. So let's not go on that, that world. I spent yeah, yeah. Thousands but, but you've never been in the military, so let's just move on from that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you've never been in the military. Let's move on from That's that one it. before you really offend a lot of people. So we're rolling, I promise. Oh, sorry, I'll make it up. You've earned a lot of money sitting here. So, so I'm going to be the person that's going to be attacked by these men in the military? Because I wasn't in the military, and I say they don't. I'm now going to be. That's what happens. No. They're all going to attack. Because I better watch out. Because they're crazy. And they're going to attack me. That's what you're saying. You play this back. You go find what I said. 
All these things that you claim I said. Can I ask you a question, a serious question for just a minute outside of dogs? Just a serious question. And it's a little bit personal. Can I ask it? No, Aaron. You don't know me. I know. I'm trying to figure you it out. You don't know me. So can I ask You're trying a little bit of a personal question? Mock me. No. You're trying Never. to mock me. I came on me. your channel. You invited me on, remember? No, you said bring me on live. Because you were talking about me. I did. I know, but I explain why. Okay. So let's move on from that. Can I ask you a personal question? Please. We don't have any liberty to ask. We're not friends, Aaron. We aren't friends. I tried to be friends with you. I did. I did. I genuinely liked you. I said, God, this guy's so tall. It's crazy. It's crazy. This guy's so tall. I was out there. That's how I met you. It was a picture of you and Michael and Bart. I appreciate and that. They Thank were you. like this tall. And you were like this tall. And Michael said, this guy's a young dog trainer starting out. And that's how we were friends. And I want you to understand that I thought you were special. And so that's how it started. I appreciate that. And go ask Michael about me. Ask God for a, get God. But I would never do that. I would never God. waste time and get somebody else's opinion on somebody. To me, it means absolutely nothing. Zero, nada, nothing. Aaron, I want you to understand, I've been on YouTube since 2006 using the pager. So I'm past the point of being not. Using people. vibration. No, it's and not a pager. It's a vibration. It. Vibration, not a pager. Vibration. It says pager right on the thing. So don't tell me vibrate. It literally is written right there, pager literally written pager so, right so on the collar. hold the collar so up and press the button instead of pager and tell me what happens it's literally it vibrates it's literally written right on the it vibrates it's and you back up the word you picture. back up the importance of compliance with vibration with stem right vibrations associated with stem right i've got a blind deaf dog that's never yeah, yeah we've before. all got we've all done those vibration is associated with stem right no. Okay. Vibrations no. associated with a nick, right? No. It's 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 Pavlov. Pavlov didn't have. A I have bell. a degree in psychology, man. Please don't waste my time with this. Right. Vibration that, is associated with that nick. Pavlov correct? didn't have a bell. Pavlov had a metronome. The pager is a metronome. When you hit the pager, it blows food drive up somehow. Aaron, how, if you said how, I don't know. There's a woman from Harvard called Peggy Hill. She wrote an article called Vibrational Communication in Animals. She knows more about it. The pager is natural to the dog's nervous system. No, it's somehow, not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it if is. If it was natural, you wouldn't have a yes, response. It it's an abnormality. It's, they're vibration-sensitive predators. They've got a thing in their jaw that detects vibration. If you said what, like elk pounding along the sub, yes, the substrata. Vibrations are traveling through the substrata. If you said all sound is vibration, is that true, Aaron? All sound is vibration, right? I'm getting lost in this right now, actually. But is that a true or not fact? All sound is vibration. <laughs> Sure. If you want to look at it as how it travels through the air, it's projected. Okay, sure. Go ahead. I'm, I'm following for now. Go ahead. So by putting the vibration collar on the deaf dog, it can hear now. It removes the deafness. All sound is vibration. No, that's absolutely not true. That's not the definition of being deaf. You can't put vibration on a dog and magically they physically hear the outside world. You're just manipulating them through a stimulation. It can hear the collar. It can hear the collar. It can, it can feel the collar. You. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. It can hear. It can feel you. the collar. All sound, sure. is, all sound is vibration. It can feel the collar. Uh, located there, and it's affecting the part yep. of the brain. If their eardrums that, don't work, the vibration doesn't magically make the eardrums work. But all sound is vibration, and they have a thing. They pick up vibration in their jaw. I know, Peter. I know. All, all he wants to do is make me look bad. And I, all I can say, Aaron, is I'm glad and I thank you because I hope your people, I've already got a couple messages from people saying, how are you getting this result? And if I get one person that is interested in how I'm getting a, this result from this, it's worth it, I guess. You should be interested. I am it's interested. Science. That's why I'm here learning. And I haven't been disrespectful. It's you science. haven't seen the disrespect. I don't, person. Aaron, listen to me. I don't understand it myself. But somehow, hitting this pager is Vibration. like a weird impulse trigger. No, it's a stimulus. And, and they're avoiding correction. Trust me. No, it's... I want you to go look at my Proximity it's to you turns off the pager, correct? 
Ma'am, I'm, I'm proximity. You turned off the pager, correct? Do you tap and release the pager, or do you hold constant pager until the call comes back to you? It varies. It's it's varies. It varies. You can it wah wah wah. There's different cadences. You can hold it down. You can bump it. You can. Well, there has to be consistency in or it's confusion. So when you hold down yeah. vibration, that means recall, right? It depends on the behavior. It depends on the behavior. If you want it to go back. You go like that. It depends on the behavior. I teach ten the ways on vibration, and I teach three calls on the phone with all dogs. But my question is this: Okay, it, it, it doesn't work, Aaron. Let's just let's just say it, it, it doesn't work. I'm I'm wrong. It it does it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We were just let's getting just into it. it. I know, but I gotta go walk dog. I know it I'm works. Not believe anything. I know it that. works, but I think you're not even really sure how it works. And I was going to go over that with you on the psychological well, level. It's got it's gotten to the point I can't understand what's going on anymore because they're all displaying this jump up in the air dolphin behavior. Like That's because you've associated speed. vibration with, with excitement, right? Drive. You are associating vibration with a behavior. Therefore, you're inducing the behavior when you implement the vibration. But that has nothing to do with obedience and control. I'm well aware of what you're doing, ma'am. Yeah. This is principles of conditioning, okay? This is not dog training. This is principles okay. of conditioning. Yeah. You're, up. you're right, right. Aaron. I don't know what I'm doing. And I never say you don't know what you're doing, works, so. but you're not explaining anyway, well, it. I appreciate you. You're not explaining it. Oh, Scotty. So remember. Why not explain it? Remember. Oh, I've got thousands. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, what am I not explaining? You just sit there and shook your head and you don't know how it works. So I was going to go into how it works. There's a reason well, why your dogs exactly are jumping around when you I'm tap the vibration. This. But no, they're not doing. They're doing it spontaneously. I'm not necessarily doing the vibration. Well, then if they're doing it spontaneously, that's disobedience, just... non-compliance. Spontaneous behavior is just that it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the environment around them. It's just spontaneous. I'm talking about right, what can you, you control with the collar. Just be happy. I was able to fool all these people. Just I never be said happy that. I was able to fool doctor for 18 years. I don't know what I'm doing, Aaron. You're right, and I'm wrong. Never said that. I either. apologize to you. I apologize to Tommy Loveless. And Thank you. I appreciate that tremendously. I, I seriously do. Thank old, you. I don't have three week old puppies picking up things. I don't have a blind deaf dog and I don't have any dogs that are operating with just a page or nothing. Else. So I will, I will regress. This little pump. I will regress and say that quite honestly, quite honestly, I don't know if you have three week old dogs picking stuff up. Maybe you do. I would be, I would be shocked, I do. I've got videos up. I've shocked to see that. Everything. Godfrey Dildai shared it on his page. That's how good it was, Aaron. Okay. Godfrey Dildai. And unfortunately, I don't know who this person is either. I will find out by the end of the day. And I, and I apologize for that. Do you know who Phil Holt, do you know who Phil Holt But I have, is? yes, I do. I have those who might. Do you know who Phil Holscher is? Absolutely. You know Phil Holscher, right? For the last time, you're then talking about the Hollywood the IPO guy. Right. Yes, I do, and yes, I've trained with him. That's Godfrey's arch enemy, and ask Phil Holscher if he knows me. Well, there you ask go. Ask Phil Holscher if I'm any good. Ask Phil so Holscher. if he's the arch enemy anyway, of who you're anyway. talking about, that would probably explain why we haven't crossed paths. I've also heard you talk bad about Pat Nolan before. No, I didn't talk bad about Pat Nolan. I like Pat. I said the problem with field trial guys doing e-collar videos is that they're breed blind because the only dogs that they're training are high drive dogs. I like Pat. I don't have anything against Pat. Pat, I was on the uh, pro staff with Pat for many, many years. So don't say I was bad. But see, that's not Pat. the truth either. I like I've, I've trained with Pat. What I said is the problem with guys like Pat who train field trial dogs making e-collar books for is that they're only training high drive dogs. That's not true. Pat trains all dogs, house pets. I've watched Pat pick up e-collars and leeches and work every breed under the sun and have immediate okay. success. I've watched it in real time, face to face, okay. present. Aaron, not on a video, but presently being I don't there. know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, so he's seen my video. Yeah, uh, nothing but dogs running around playing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. If I'm retired and don't know anything about dogs, why are you giving me this audience? That's what I don't understand. Anyway. If I, am I the only person? I'm the only person. All right. Well, again, that I video? appreciate your apology to Tommy. I appreciate your apology to myself. I appreciate your apology to Rich Side K9, and I'll and I'll. I'll leave here assuming you're not going to apologize to Off Leash, although you probably should. 
Um, and uh, not, and nobody, there's everybody's after them. And you're going to apologize for to Godfrey for saying you don't know who that is. I never spoke a bad word about that man a day in my life. Is it a man or a woman? I'm serious. I'm being respectful. Does it matter? Aaron, what book hey, Google, have you read? Google it. Can you answer Google. me this? What book, what book have you read about the e-collar? I'm actually writing a book. Pat? But what e-collar book are you basing your methodology on? I'm not going to give anybody else a platform off here to, to say, like, read this or read that. But if you know me. There aren't any. It's a catch-22, Aaron. There's no books. There's no books. But I didn't, no I didn't say that I read a book on anything. There aren't any. Okay. That's why there aren't any. But okay. There's very limited knowledge. Very limited knowledge. And if you've decided. Have you read Larry Crone's book I on e collar work? What? Have you read Larry? Yeah. Crone's book? Oh, I've, I've got Larry's video edited in slow mo. I'll show it to you. He hits the dog with constant in it. No. Come on. Yes, Aaron. That's not true. I've got it edited. I've got it edited in slow mo so you can see it. What do you think about. Uh, I know. Yeah. Do you follow any of Justin Rigney's videos? No, I don't know Justin. You should go watch. He's a big Nepo Po guy. Him and Michael are good friends too. You well, go. then you go ask him about. Go ask him about my work. Then if he's. I don't think right. he knows who you are. I could be wrong. He could be best friends with you. I have no idea. I was simply asking the no, question: Do you watch his videos? No, I don't know him. Aaron, I'm live. All right, Mama. Well, listen, it's, it's been real. When am I having to... It's been real. It's been fun. Thank you for your apologies. On behalf of on behalf of Ridgeside K9, we accept your apologies wholeheartedly. Um, on behalf of Tommy, he accepts your apology. And uh, Tommy, you should bring Tommy live. I, I, I highly recommend you bring Tommy live. You guys would have a great time talking. He'll be respectful. I, I know Tommy. He'll be respectful to you. No, he won't. He will. I'm willing to bet you that he won't. He will. And what does he want to talk about? He probably just wants to talk to you. You talk a lot about him. He probably wants to talk to you. These are full-grown men in the army. What does it matter what some woman says? That's what I don't get, Eric. Tommy's not in the army. Tommy's not in the army. Grown men. Not in the army. What do they do if ISIS comes? Not in the army. They kill him. Is that worried? They kill him. He's that upset by some woman saying something. Let's get back to ISIS. You know any ISIS? We'll, we'll kill him right now. You know any ISIS? I'm just saying, while, how is he that blood. upset by some crazy woman? Well, you're talking how shit about How could he do that upset? All right, all right, all right. Larry video. I'll upload the Larry video and tell you. Let's just go, Aaron. I got to go. I got clients on the way. If you said, I thought you didn't train. They're from 30 years ago. When people call me, I just say, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. Been real. See you. And